Chapter 661 Continuous Slaps in the Face Translator Born to be what? Has there been some kind of mistake? Is he refining pills or making stew? Does he even know how to refine pills? He doesn't even understand he has to purify the ingredients first. Isn't he just messing around? Hey, little fellow, you should add some more water and salt, or the flavor won't be so good. The spectators immediately began to make a ruckus. They were extremely dissatisfied that someone like Long Chen could make his way into this competition. The tower administrator ignored their shouts. The only thing against the rules was for people inside the arena to disturb their competitors. The shouts from the spectators were also a kind of test for alchemists. It had to be known that alchemists would always refine pills in a private room. They wouldn't allow anyone to disturb them. But now that countless people were watching and shouting, it made refining pills that much more difficult. If you were unable to calm your heart, the odds of a failure would be extremely high. This competition sought this kind of tempering experience. Other than having talent, an alchemist also had to have a calm heart. Only such a person could walk further on the pill path. If your heart became chaotic just because of someone's random shouting, there was no way you could have any major accomplishments. In the face of the insults and ridicules coming from all around, Long Chen's expression was still calm. His spiritual strength circulated and his flame rapidly rose. This, this is, is this real life? Following Long Chen's actions, the sound of the crowd's shouting quieted. In the end, everyone's expressions were lifeless. Even the tower administrator's pupil shrank slightly. The seven medicinal ingredients in Long Chen's pill furnace had already begun to slowly be refined, but they were still separated from each other and hadn't fused. He's used his spiritual strength to keep the medicinal ingredients apart, but the exhaustion to his soul energy must be terrifying. Everyone was incomparably shocked. Long Chen's spiritual strength was wrapped around seven different medicinal ingredients, refining them at the same time. That was insane. They had never seen someone waste their precious spiritual strength like this. Suddenly, the seven medicinal ingredients were refined into powder at the same time, and they began to merge. What? Finally, people understood what he was doing. Normally, people would refine pills step by step, turning each ingredient to powder one by one, and then refine them into pills. Long Chen was too lazy to do that, and he directly threw them in like he was cooking vegetables. After refining their essence, he directly began to merge them. To save time, he had actually wasted his precious spiritual strength to keep the medicinal powders separated from each other. That was definitely only showing off. When others refined pills, each bit of spiritual strength was precious and used as sparingly as possible. If their spiritual strength ended up running out toward the end, then the entire furnace of pills they were working on would be trashed. So spiritual strength was extremely precious to alchemists. Suddenly, Long Chen closed the lid on his furnace. Following that, no one could see what was happening inside. HMPH, he's just showing off. That's just a second tier pill, and we could refine it with our eyes closed. For him to try and use such a thing to show off, he really is ignorant. What? The refinement is finished already. A person was in the midst of mocking him when Long Chen's pill furnace suddenly shook. Medicinal fragrance spread everywhere. It was a clear sign the pill was about to form. That's, that's way too fast. Everyone's jaw dropped. Was this refining pills, or cooking meat? He had only just closed the lid and it was finished? Crack. Long Chen's pill furnace suddenly became covered in cracks. This idiot, he pushed his flame too much. He, there's about to be a furnace explosion. Boom. As expected, the pill furnace exploded, drawing out jeers and laughter. But that laughter was cut off midway as if a knife had severed it. Impossible. All they saw was that although the pill furnace had exploded, a translucent pill furnace had appeared and wrapped around the liquid that was on the verge of turning into a pill. This is, the legendary, spiritual furnace. Just how monstrous is his spiritual strength? Everyone was dumbfounded. Using pure spiritual strength to form a cauldron only existed in legends. The crowd had never seen such a thing. Even the tower administrator stood up, filled with shock. This was his first time seeing such vast spiritual strength. The registration test only tested the quality of a person's spiritual strength. It didn't test the amount they had. That was because the majority of people had around the same amount of spiritual strength. Even if there was a difference, it would be extremely minor. So the more important aspect was the quality. But the amount of spiritual strength Long Chen had displayed was enormous. So enormous that it was terrifying. He was actually able to condense a spiritual pill furnace. 
Just the exhaustion to do so would be enough to refine a fifth-tier pill. The crowd was silent, but Fang Chen was filled with wild delight. Long Chen's vast soul energy was practically monstrous. Who cared if he didn't have a pill furnace? His Fang family had that. Who cared if he didn't have a beast flame? The pill tower had many, but Long Chen's abnormal, practically endless soul energy was too terrifying. Huo Wufang's expression turned ugly. He felt a trace of unease. For some unknown reason, he had always felt like this Long San was an extremely dangerous fellow. Such abnormal soul energy was something even he had never seen before. If Long Chen gained the assistance of the Fang family, he would definitely soar and pose a large threat to him. A cold light appeared in Huo Wufang's eyes. Long Chen's pill flame didn't pause. Within the translucent spiritual pill furnace, the medicinal pill was rapidly taking shape. In less than a breath's time, it had become solid. The rings have appeared. One, two, three, five rings. Heavens, they're still increasing. Seven, eight, what? The, the ninth ring also appeared. Suddenly, the spiritual pill furnace faded, and a gorgeous medicinal pill appeared in Long Chen's hand. Brilliant light shone from it, making it appear like a lantern in the night. Nine ring pill. Everyone was shocked. If they hadn't personally seen it, they wouldn't have believed that such low-tire medicinal ingredients could be refined into a nine ring pill. That was the peak of high-grade pills. However, it's essentially useless. If I'm not wrong, isn't that just a bug-expelling pill commonly used by adventurers? When they set up camp, they use it to avoid being bitten by poisonous bugs. It is useless. But it definitely was badass. I have to admit that all of our faces have been slapped rotten, said one person bitterly. Each time they had ridiculed Long Chen, he had used his actions to give them a slap in the face. In refining this one pill, he had essentially slapped the people insulting him multiple times. The worse a person had insulted him, the more vicious that slap in the face would be. The fact that Long Chen had refined a nine ring pill from those trash ingredients caused countless people to be furious. He had definitely done that on purpose, just to slap them in the face. This Long San really is a badass. Not only are his physical slaps amazing, but even his mental slaps have reached a divine level. Admirable. Fang Chen practically had to prostrate himself in admiration towards Long Chen. Long Chen's refinement had drawn everyone's attention. Those people who had been planning on dazzling others with their skills ended up giving up. They decided to just use the simplest way to finish their pills. As a result, this opening round had been completely upset by Long Chen. It ended just like that, without anything else that compared to Long Chen's display. HMPH, a derogatory act to please the crowd is all it was. Just as Long Chen was leaving with Fang Chang, one of Huo Wufang's people couldn't help sneering at him. Pow! A large hand slapped across his face. Long Chen had tried to slap him, but he had been a step too late and ended up striking nothing but air. Haha, <laughs> I got him first, laughed Fang Chang. Fang Chang's face slaps had almost become a reflex for him. As long as a person came to provoke him, it would naturally follow. He struck so fast that it even surpassed his reaction. Fang Chen Huo Wufang's expression sank. Fang Chen was becoming more and more shameless. Without any regard to his status, he would attack anyone as soon as he had an urge. If Huo Wufang simply allowed his subordinate to be struck like this, he would appear too cowardly. What? You want to fight again? Then let's fight. This isn't the competition region. If we fight here, no one will care, said Fang Chang, pointing at Huo Wufang's nose. Following his actions, it was like gunpowder had filled the air. Long Chen laughed inside. He rubbed his fists, ready to attack at any moment. Heavens, the good show is still developing. Everyone. Hurry and find a good spot to watch from. Those spectators had thought that the show they wanted to see wouldn't appear today. They had been a bit depressed. But now sensing this sudden hostility, they immediately celebrated. I've already activated my photographic jade. I'll definitely get a good look at a female pill empress's chest. Or I won't be able to die in peace. Cried one person, licking his lips. Huo Wufang was completely infuriated. Fang Cheng and Che Li Huo were acting like complete hooligans not caring the slightest bit about their status. If they really did fight here, both parties would suffer. After all, this wasn't a true fight. They couldn't summon their pill flames, or it would be too dangerous. If someone lost their life, then this would immediately become a major matter. Furthermore, many people were watching. Fighting like this would only serve as a method to lose face. However, Fang Cheng and Che Li Huo were so shameless as to act as if they were unrevealed and wanted to fight. HMPH. All you have is a pack of marketplace brawlers. We're leaving. In the end, 
Huo Wufang decided to bring his people away, which disappointed Long Chen. He had lost a chance to kick Huo Wufang in the butt again. Furthermore, he was extremely curious about what kind of bones Huo Wufang had for it to cause him such pain when he kicked him. What was he hiding? Ha ha ha. We're also going. Let's continue our celebration. Fang Cheng and Che Li Huo laughed. Looking at Huo Wufang's sullen expression as he left, they felt incredibly refreshed. Everyone ate and drank their fill in a restaurant. Having viciously slapped Huo Wufang in the face twice now, Fang Cheng and Che Li Huo were filled with delight. They had finally managed to curb his arrogance. Long San, let's go. I'll help you pick out a pill furnace and get you a beast flame. Your big bro has high hopes for you. After drinking and eating, Fang Chen brought Long Chen back toward the Seven Treasure Jewel Tower. Chapter 662 Selecting a Beast Flame Translator Born to be Long Chen followed Fang Chen into the Seven Treasure Jewel Tower. But this time, they didn't go through the main gate, but through a side door. There were a dozen guards in front of that side door. Fang Chen solemnly warned Long Chen that he couldn't cause any trouble here. Although the pill tower was jointly controlled by the Huo, Fang, and Che families, the pill emperor competition had caused some of the pill valley's experts to come and watch. They had to pay more attention to the rules than ever. Only now did Long Chen have a chance to ask what this pill emperor competition truly was. This competition had gathered the elite pill emperors of the eastern wasteland. It was to pick out the most talented people. The top 10 would have the qualifications to enter Pill Valley to cultivate. Furthermore, it was said that the reward for the first place was exceedingly high. It was something that would make countless geniuses go mad. But the reward was different each time. In any case, everyone would go all out to get the first place. A reward that would make anyone go crazy? He, I like that. The heavens have finally opened their eyes. Seeing how far I had to come to get here. They didn't feel right letting me leave empty-handed. When they reached the door, Fang Chen gave them his badge to examine. Although they all recognized him, they couldn't be the slightest bit sloppy with this procedure. After passing through, they entered the main hall. When they stepped onto a round disc, the disc slowly rose through the air. There was a formation carved into it that allowed it to be used for traveling up and down the tower. The Seven Treasure Jewel Tower's first floor is a large hall used to receive visitors, as well as handling various matters. The second and third floors are where high-level alchemists can refine pills. There are tens of thousands of alchemists refining pills there each day. Only those who have at least reached the Pill Emperor rank have the qualifications to enter here, explained Fang Chang. Tens of thousands? The pill tower really was enormous. It was no wonder it was said that almost all medicinal pills were monopolized by them. That kind of strength was truly immense. The fourth and fifth floors are soul-nourishing regions. There are special formations that can nourish a person's mind and soul. If you're tired after refining, you'll only need to rest for two hours there before being completely refreshed. The reason the pill tower can refine so many pills in a day is definitely in part due to the soul-nourishing regions. Furthermore, the soul-nourishing regions can allow a person's soul to advance. Many alchemy geniuses join Pill Tower to cultivate in the soul-nourishing regions. If you cultivated there for a long time, it would be extremely beneficial to your soul. But to do that, you need to contribute a great deal to the Pill Tower. The sixth floor is the region the Che family is in charge of. That is the Pill Tower's treasure pavilion. There are pill furnaces, precious medicines, beast flames, and all kinds of alchemy inheritances there. There are even flame attribute secret arts. Fang Cheng smiled with pride. This was something all the Pill Tower's disciples were proud of. Long San, I'll go help you pick a beast flame now. Your soul energy is terrifying, but your pill flame is trash. There's still a month until the preliminaries. During this time, you have to increase your strength as much as possible. People will be washed out during the preliminaries, warned Fang Cheng as he brought Long Chen into the sixth floor. Haha, <laughs> you've arrived. Che Li Huo had already come ahead of them. The Che family was in charge of this place, so he had come in advance to make things more convenient for Long Chen. Come, I'll bring you to our Beast Flame repository. They followed Che Li Huo down a long passageway. At the end, there was an iron gate. This gate had to be over three meters thick, and it required a special mechanism to open. Passing through three such gates, a terrifying heat suddenly attacked them. A large room appeared in front of them. The room had been made of steel. There were niches in the walls with each having a bottle in it. Each bottle contained a beast flame. Wow, there are so many beast flames. Long Chen jumped in shock. There were hundreds of bottles here, each sealing a kind of beast flame. He, 
This is our Pill Towers Beast Flame Repository. All of these are ranked in the top 100 of the Beast Flame rankings. Other than the top 3 Beast Flames, we should have every single one. We even have multiples, said Che Li Huo. Long Chen's arm suddenly heated up. He hastily grabbed that arm. Huo Long had almost flown out. It was like a magical beast that had been starving for countless years and now finally saw meat. It wanted to swallow all of it in one gulp. Huo Long, endure it for now. Now isn't the time. I promise you, if you're patient, these will quickly be yours. Long Chen comforted it. He knew that Huo Long needed energy to grow, but the amount of energy Long Chen was able to offer it was limited. The most important thing was that he needed to cultivate. How did he have that much time to feed it? That had made Huo Long starve this entire time. So seeing this many beast flames, it immediately became agitated. It was a good thing Huo Long listened to him and endured it. That made Long Chen sigh with relief. Long San, you can pick any beast flame here. But let me warn you that while the more powerful the beast flame, the more efficient your alchemy will be. A stronger beast flame requires a longer time to suppress. If you choose the blazing python scale flame, you have to be prepared. If you aren't able to suppress it within a month, you might end up being washed out during the preliminaries, warned Che Li Huo. Che Li Huo and Fang Chen both used the blazing python scale flame. It was ranked fourth on the beast flame rankings, and it was extremely powerful. Although it was one rank lower than Long Chen's violet phoenix sparrow flame, it was still extremely powerful. Long Chen didn't dare reveal the violet phoenix sparrow flame as that would expose his identity. Using the blazing python scale flame would be much more convenient. As for suppressing it, that was just a joke. With an earth flame present, how could it not be suppressed? I'll choose the blazing python scale flame. Don't worry, with my powerful soul energy, I should be able to suppress it quickly, said Long Chen confidently. As he said this, Long Chen went to grab the blazing python scale flame's bottle. There was only one bottle of it left. Wait a moment. Suddenly. A cold shout rang out. A group of people rushed into the repository. Long Chen saw that it was actually Huo Wufang leading three others. But Long Chen acted as if he hadn't heard him, and he directly picked up the bottle. What kind of joke was that? The things that he settled on were his. Put down the blazing python scale flame. I already reserved it yesterday, raged Huo Wufang. You reserved it? How come I didn't know about that? Said Che Li Huo. Huo Wufang suddenly took out a piece of paper. Yesterday, I applied to have it, and today I came to get it. What? Do you dare abuse your public position? Fang Chang's expression changed slightly. Now it was troublesome. If Huo Wufang had reserved it, then this blazing python scale flame would have to be given to him. That was one of the rules of the pill tower. Once a disciple managed to reach certain standards, they could make applications to the pill tower to ask for certain beast flames. It was most definitely Duan Xiang Kiyo. Huo Wufang was trying to get it for her. With her ninth tier earth class soul energy, she truly could apply for the blazing python scale flame. The date really does say yesterday. However, I'm very sorry, but I can't give the blazing python scale flame to you, said Che Li Huo. You dare? If you don't give it to me, I'll immediately report you. Do you dare break the pill tower's rules? Sneered Huo Wufang. Go ahead and report me. But let me tell you, it won't have any use. Three days ago. There was already an application for this blazing python scale flame. So unfortunately, you're still too late. Isn't that right Fang Cheng Che Li Huo winked to Fang Cheng. His meaning could not be more obvious. Fang Cheng suddenly recalled the truth and said, That's right, that's right. I reserved it three days ago. So sorry, he, you, I don't believe you. Bring out your application, raged Huo Wu Fang. The application is with my family. I forgot to bring it. I can show you the application later. Che Li Huo smiled. Huo Wufang was enraged. Che Li Huo was definitely doing this intentionally. But it was their Che family that had this authority. All Che Li Huo had to do was make up an application and put the date as three days ago. Thinking of that, Huo Wufang's face turned green with rage. But he was also powerless. Fine. Just wait. Xiang Kiyo. Kifeng. You guys pick out a beast flame. Huo Wufang could only let his people pick out a weaker beast flame. When Huo Wufang left with an ugly expression, Long Chen's group of three looked at each other and laughed. That was especially true of Fang Chen and Che Li Huo. It had been a long time since they had been this happy. Long San, we'll protect you. You can refine the blazing python scale flame here. Long Chen nodded and directly took out the beast flame. He began to refine it. Fang Chen and Che Li Huo were shocked. 
The wild and berserk blazing python scale flame seemed like an obedient rabbit. It simply allowed itself to be absorbed by Long Chen without the slightest resistance. They weren't aware that Long Chen had an earth flame. In front of an earth flame, beast flames were like ants in front of a dragon. They wouldn't dare to resist. Long Chen had originally been planning on refining the blazing python scale flame and then feeding the violet phoenix sparrow flame to Huo Long. But suddenly he had a thought. He wondered if it was possible for him to keep both beast flames. As a result, Long Chen was shocked to see that with Huo Long's suppression, the two beast flames didn't dare struggle. They didn't dare to fight with or devour the other. Haha, <laughs> Huo Long, congratulations. In the future, there will be two chickens laying eggs for you, laughed Long Chen inside. Although instantly devouring a beast flame would be extremely beneficial to Huo Long, in the long view, killing the chicken to get its eggs was not worth it. Long Chen had Huo Long lightly suppress the two beast flames. The two of them were shivering in terror. Then under Long Chen's guidance, they began to release some of their energy to Huo Long. Their lost power was immediately recovered with Long Chen's spiritual Yuan. Long Chen was delighted to see this. In the future, he could have Huo Long look after them and get a constant stream of food for itself. Long Chen gently breathed out and opened his eyes. A scarlet flame appeared in his hand. The ripples coming from the flame looked like scales. That's too exaggerated, isn't it? Cried Che Li Huo and Fang Chang. Chapter 663 Raising Beast Flames Translator Born to be Che Li Huo and Fang Chen couldn't believe their eyes. You refined it in just an incense stick's worth of time? Are you joking? Maybe it's just that my spiritual strength is strong enough. Long Chen laughed and extended his hand. The red flame began to agilely jump on his fingertips. It wasn't the slightest bit sluggish. The two of them were flabbergasted. Monster. You're definitely a monster. Concluded the two of them at the same time. He. I have an urge to immediately go give a blow to that idiot Huo Wufang now. Even after obtaining the beast flame. Long Chen didn't forget to express his position. That was to avoid them getting jealous. After all, they were all alchemists. The power he had displayed was a bit more than he should have, and it could provoke the two of them. After all, everyone had their own pride. Such an impact would cause anyone to be uncomfortable. Hearing this, Fang Chen nodded. Long Chen was part of his camp. The stronger he was, the more beneficial it would be for him. Big Bros, I have a small request, said Long Chen with embarrassment. As brothers, there's no need to be courteous. What do you need? Fang Chen and Che Li Huo patted themselves on the chest confidently. Um, I suddenly realized that it's extremely easy for me to control the blazing python scale flame. I was thinking of how I could upgrade its power. That way I'll be able to refine even better pills, said Long Chen. Upgrade? How can you upgrade it? The two of them didn't understand. I want to let the blazing python scale flame devour a few other beast flames to make it stronger. Is that all right? Asked Long Chen. It's all right, but... The main question is whether or not that will work. I've never heard of beast flames being able to merge, said Che Li Huo. Can I try it, if you want? In any case, in this place, my Che family's word is law. These beast flames don't count as overly precious. I can just write down that they were used up and report it. Go ahead, said Che Li Huo. His eyes had truly been opened to the world. He wanted to see just what level of monster this Long San was. I'll first try devouring the 7th and 9th ranking flames. Long Chen didn't stand on courtesy. He directly grabbed the two flames and began to refine them at the same time. Che Li Huo and Fang Chang's faces twitched, but they didn't stop him. Finally, when Long Chen had refined the 17th flame and reached out for an 18th, Che Li Huo couldn't help but say, Brother Long San, can you leave a few? If you take too many, your big bro won't be able to give an explanation. 17 Beast Flames all of which were ranked near the top, had been consumed by Long Chen in just a few breaths. The two of them were completely dumbfounded, their hearts pounding madly. The Che family was in charge of this. However, if the loss was too big, it would be easily discovered. By then it would be troublesome. That was why he had to stop. Suddenly, a flame appeared in Long Chen's hand. The red flame contained a faint violet tint. Its terrifying heat caused their expressions to change. What? What kind of flame is this? A mutation. They didn't know that this was a flame Long Chen had created by merging the blazing python scale flame and the violet phoenix sparrow flame. Such a flame was something no one else had ever seen. However, this flame could only be used to intimidate others. Its true power wasn't even as high as the violet phoenix sparrow flame, but its power was definitely much greater than just the blazing python scale flame. 
Long Chen had done this to show them that he had succeeded. He truly had succeeded. He had swindled 17 beast flames at the same time. Adding on the blazing python scale flame and the violet phoenix sparrow flame. He had a total of 19 beast flames now. The 19 beast flames were like hens locked in a cage. Under Huo Long's tyrannical abuse, they did their best to lay eggs for it. They devoured Long Chen's spiritual yuan crazily in order to make up for the loss. In an instant, Huo Long had become a farmer. It had 19 beast flames producing crops as fast as they could. It was extremely satisfied, as it now had flames to consume at any moment. As for Long Chen, having advanced to the Xi'anshan realm, his spiritual yuan was as vast as a sea. They could absorb his spiritual yuan as much as they pleased. This way, Long Chen didn't have to spend his time raising Huo Long. Huo Long could graze as much as it pleased. Long San, you really are a monster, said Che Li Huo. Big Bros, I also need some high-tier pill formulas. I've only ever refined low-tier pills, and I've never come into contact with higher-tier pill formulas. To tell the truth, I don't even know many techniques for refining high-tier pills. Can you lend me some alchemy arts? Asked Long Chen. Lend you some? Please, we don't need to do that. I can bring you to the secret tome pavilion. As long as you don't bring out the tomes inside, you can browse the tomes as you please. There are all kinds of alchemy arts and experiences recorded by seniors, etc. Upon hearing that Long Chen would no longer consume any more beast flames, Che Li Huo was rejuvenated. He directly brought Long Chen to the secret tome pavilion. There were huge bookshelves filled with alchemy arts. Long Chen went wild with delight and began to study them. Seeing Long Chen was like an obsessed pill maniac. Che Li Huo and Fang Chen didn't disturb him. They left, waiting for the time when Long Chen would leave. Once the two of them had left, Long Chen tossed aside the alchemy tomes he had picked up. How could anyone write down such trash principles? There were three kinds of tomes here. One kind contained alchemy arts that the seniors had written down. The other kind contained pill formulas. They were all high-tier pill formulas, but they weren't truly peerless formulas, and Long Chen wasn't interested in them. He was most interested in the flame attribute battle skill section. Long Chen had his pill god memories, but they were incomplete. Other than alchemy, there was nothing else. So Long Chen might be a powerful alchemist, but he had come into contact with very few pill flame battle skills. He might have an incomparably terrifying pill flame, but he could only use it in the most superficial way when fighting. Even Long Chen had to blush in shame. Flamma cloud wings, pill flame transforming into wings allowing you to soar into the sky. Damn, this isn't a battle skill, but a magical art. I have to learn it. Long Chen went crazy with delight. He had found a magical art secret tome. Ordinary battle skills and cultivation techniques were split into heaven, earth, and mortal classes. But these three classes referred only to Xi'anshan experts and below. Xi'anshan experts and above could use their energy to control the energy of heaven and earth, transforming it into all kinds of runes that could release mountain toppling power. Such attacks had broken through the limit of battle skills and were called magical arts. Magical arts were not split into high or low grades. There was no system to measure that. Their power depended mainly on whether the user could control it properly. At the Xi'anshan realm, people fought by using their energy to control heaven and earth's energy. That allowed them to release an even more terrifying power. Magical arts were what allowed them to control that energy. If you wanted to control more energy, it would depend on your abilities. With this, then even without advancing to sea expansion, I could still fly through the sky. Ha ha ha, summoning a pair of flame wings when I fight would definitely be amazing. Long Chen's smile threatened to split his face. Coming to the pill tower had definitely been worth it. Originally, his goal had been to get the ingredients to condense the Enlightenment Palace star. But currently, he had only just gotten familiar with Fang Cheng and Che Li Huo. He couldn't just directly charge into the medicinal ingredient storeroom. He didn't have a suitable reason for that yet. However, everything was still going very smoothly. Not only had he obtained a mass of beast flames, but he could also cultivate in flame attribute magical arts. That almost made flowers bloom in Long Chen's heart. Suddenly, Long Chen rushed back to his original position, acting as if he hadn't moved. He was still completely focused on studying the alchemy arts in the tomes. Fang Chen and Che Li Huo walked back in. Long San, how about you stay here? We still have matters to attend to, but Long Chen was like a statue. It seemed he hadn't even heard him. The two of them looked at each other and just left. This Long San is not just a monster. He's also so hardworking. He'll definitely have amazing accomplishments in the future. Most importantly, 
He's someone who cares about relationships and gratitude. For just a minor favor, he even dared to make enemies of the Huo family. We really did pick up a treasure, said Fang Chang. They left Long Chen in the secret tome pavilion, ordering others to stand guard outside. If Long Chen came out, they were to bring him to Fang Chang's residence. They still had many others who they needed to make good relationships with, and they also had to report certain things to their families. They were busy and couldn't just accompany Long Chen. You're the one who picked up the treasure. TCH. I can't even describe how jealous I am, said Che Li Huo. TCH. What do you need to be jealous of? With our talent. Seventh tier earth class soul energy. There's no way for us to get into Pill Valley. The only thing we need to do is to use Long San to get rid of the arrogant Huo family. They refuse to just carry out their marketing duties and have stretched their hands toward our territories. If we still don't counterattack, we might be destroyed. But now that Long San has come, if he can take the first place in the Pill Emperor competition, the glory will be our two families. Once he enters Pill Valley, we can work together with him. Then wouldn't eradicating the Huo family be a simple matter? Why are we suppressed by the Huo family? Isn't it just because they have people in Pill Valley? But if Long San also joins Pill Valley, we can expose all the shameful acts the Huo family has done. At that time, wouldn't the Pill Tower be our two families? TCH. At that time, who will dare say screw Che Li Huo and Dam Fang Chang? If I didn't break their head and stuff the pieces into their ass, I wouldn't be Fang Chang. Raged Fang Chang. Ah, that's enough. Don't say those words again. Just mentioning it makes me angry. This Long San really is not bad. He's dependable and trustworthy. We'll definitely make back a hundred times what we invest in him, said Che Li Huo. TCH. Those Huo family bastards. They swindled so much money these years, but they refused to give us a single copper. Didn't you notice? Whether it was replacing his skeleton to get rid of his poison or that earth dragon golden blaze, both are so expensive that we would have to sell everything we own to do the same as them. But they were able to do it, and they seem fine. Fuck and they're even looking down on us for the preliminaries. They sell the medicinal pills we work so hard to refine and then look down on us. Fuck them. Raged Fang Chang. Calm down. I'm mad too. But there's no way around that. Let's go back and properly work out a strategy. Let's see if we can use the blade called Long San to stab the Huo family to death. Time passed quickly. Long Chen was studying the flame magical arts as fast as he could when Fang Chang's voice interrupted him. Long San. Come out. The preliminaries are about to start. Chapter 664 Shameless Old Thing Translator Born to be it's already been a month. Long Chen was surprised. The time had passed too quickly. He had only comprehended a dozen flame magical arts. But that kind of speed would cause chaos if the outside world learned of it. Magical arts were not ordinary battle skills. They required profound comprehension skills to use. Furthermore, they were still very dangerous to use. If you were unable to control it well enough, you would end up injured by your own attack. Although it was said that magical arts were for Xi'anshan experts and above, it was better to say that they were for Sea Expansion experts and above. Most Xi'anshan experts did not dare to use them. Only once they reached the Sea Expansion realm would they have high enough comprehension of heaven and earth, and only then would they dare to use them. Furthermore, even Sea Expansion experts had to be careful with magical arts. The slightest mistake would cause a backlash. That was the heartlessness of the heavenly deos. They could bestow you with great strength, or they could exterminate you. Different from battle skills, the majority of magical arts were released outside the body. Back in the chaos region, those corrupt sea expansion experts had released an immense black hand to attack him. That had been a magical art. It had used their energy to control natural energy, and it was exceedingly powerful. Long Chen had been completely submerged within the profundities of these flame magical arts. He was like a drunkard who could not escape from his infatuation. His control over his pill flame could be said to be unrevealed. Therefore, these incomparably profound magical arts weren't difficult for him to learn. But he still needed some time to understand them. And they were so profound that he found himself completely absorbed. Long San, you really are a pill fanatic. There are only five more days until the preliminaries. But you're working so hard that you forgot to sleep or eat, said Fang Chang. After leaving Long Chen here, he hadn't heard any further news of him. He had come over a few times, only to see Long Chen staring at a tome in his hands, completely absorbed. In truth, Long Chen was only acting that way for him. Once he left, Long Chen would immediately switch to studying magical arts. Sorry, laughed Long Chen. 
there's nothing to be sorry about. With your work ethic and talent, if you don't have any accomplishments in the future, it really would be a defiance of natural order. But the preliminaries are soon, so you shouldn't keep studying here. You should refine some pills to get yourself into a refining state. Let's go. I'll get you a good pill furnace. Fang Chen brought Long Chen to a storeroom and had him pick a pill furnace. These pill furnaces were all quality goods, but the fifth tier pill furnaces were clearly not as good as the one he had. After all, Hua Wufang only used the best of the best. In the end, Long Chen picked a furnace that looked comparatively thicker. He liked ones that looked more sturdy. After that, he returned to his residence. Fang Chen had him refine a furnace of pills in front of him. Long Chen knew that was because he was worried he wouldn't be able to control his new pill flame, which would make him fail in the preliminaries. To refine a fifth tier pill, Long Chen not only could do it with his eyes closed, but he could even refine it with his feet. It was too easy, but there was one thing that was true. Using the blazing python scale flame did cause some flaws. After all, it was his first time using it, then adding on Long Chen's intentional mistakes. He only refined a single three ring pill. Seeing that three ring pill, Fang Chen sighed with relief, and he gave Long Chen a thumbs up. He had to admit that Long Chen was a genius amongst geniuses. He saw that Long Chen wasn't used to the blazing python scale flame. There were some flaws when the flame's temperature changed, but Long Chen could use his powerful soul energy to minimize those flaws. Furthermore, Long Chen said this was his first time using it to refine pills. If he wasn't familiar with him, he would think he was lying. When using a beast flame for the first time, it was all too common to fail several refinements. The fact that Long Chen could succeed his first time, and even refine a three-ring pill, was already amazing. Long San, I won't disturb you these days. Familiarize yourself with your beast flame by refining pills. As long as you can refine a three-ring pill in the preliminaries, you'll definitely pass, said Fang Chen before leaving. Once he left, Long Chen used the rest of the medicinal ingredients to refine a few pills. After familiarizing himself with the blazing python scale flame, he didn't waste any more time. He looked at the leftover medicinal ingredients. Just now, he had tactfully told Fang Chen that while he was familiar with the fifth tier pill formulas, he hadn't refined them. He wanted to enter the storehouse and pick out some medicinal ingredients. Of course, the truth was that he wanted to look for the Enlightenment Palace pills ingredients. But Fang Chen was too nice, and he directly gave him a pile of fifth tier pill formulas and a spatial ring of their ingredients. Furthermore, he said the preliminaries weren't difficult according to the past years, so the matter of going to the storehouse could only wait until after the preliminaries. Long Chen saw that Fang Chen trusted him completely, which moved him. In truth, there were many holes in his identity as Long San, and there were many questions that could be asked about his alchemy arts. How could a pill master who lived in some random mountains have taught him his alchemy? Long Chen had already thought of many ways to explain all this. But Fang Chen hadn't even asked those questions of him. It was clear that he trusted his own eyes. Whether it was because he trusted that he hadn't misjudged him, or whether he was confident in the pill tower's strength and that no one could trick them, Long Chen still owed him a debt. Fine, because of your trust, I'll help you get rid of the Huo family. Hmm, wasn't that my original goal all along? Is this being a bit too shameless? Long Chen felt a bit guilty, but then thinking of how the three families were like water and fire this could count as a collaboration. His guilt about tricking them also vanished. The main thing was to help them exterminate the Huo family. Five days passed. The location of the preliminaries was the same as the opening round, but there was a large platform that was filled with seated people. These people were the experts from the Huo, Fang, and Che families. They had come as guests of honor. After all, they were the masters of the pill tower, but for fairness, they were not in charge of the pill emperor competition. These guests of honor were the core of the three families. Even the three families' heads had come. The Huo family's head was a square-faced elder with thick, sword-shaped eyebrows. He appeared quite imposing. His name was Huo Changsheng. He was also Huo Wufang's great-grandfather. His cultivation base was at the peak of sea expansion, and he was also a pill ancestor. It was said that he could refine seventh-tier medicinal pills, but because he couldn't refine ringed seventh-tier pills, he couldn't be called a venerate. Pill Apprentice, Pill Adept, Pill Master, Pill King, Pill Emperor, Pill Ancestor, Pill Venerate, Pill Saint, Pill God. These alchemist ranks corresponded to 1 to 9th tier pills. The ranks were extremely clear. These alchemist tires didn't necessarily have a relation to cultivation base.
cultivation base was just an assistance. A sea expansion alchemist would still forever be a pill master if they were only able to refine third-tier pills. However, such people would have long since given up their alchemist status to become martial artists, or it would be too embarrassing. There was a lean elder beside Huo Changsheng. He was also a late sea expansion expert. This was the Fang family's head, Fang Mingguan. And beside Fang Mingguan was a bald elder, the Che family's head, Che Gaoyang, who was also a sea expansion expert. In the previous Pill Emperor competitions, my Huo family always took up 7 or 8 of the top 10 spots, while the top 3 were always ours. He, how boring, we can't even find an opponent. In this world, the strong are respected, while the weak have to retreat. That is an irresistible trend that can't be reversed. What do you two think about that principle? Asked Huo Changsheng. Currently, the Fang, Che, and Huo family's struggles had already become open ones. They were already used to saying such hostile words. He, the heavenly deos are hard to fathom. It's impossible to say that any trend is irresistible. In fact, speaking of which, it seems Huo Shiangsheng hasn't appeared in the past few days? It couldn't be that he was cut down in his prime, said Che Gaoyang. His eyes locked onto Huo Changsheng. This Huo Shiangsheng was Huo Wufang's father and one of the experts of the Huo family. Whether it was in terms of cultivation base or alchemy. He was one of their top people. HMPH. Don't concern yourself. Shai Angsheng is fine, said Huo Changsheng. But his words were clearly a bit unnatural. How could that possibly escape the other two family heads' eyes? Che Gaoyang said. I heard more trouble has come for your Huo family? It seems the Zhuanshan Dao sect came to see you. I wonder whether they were sending you a gift, or whether they were asking about any bribes you might have done. Huo Changsheng's expression sank. Che Gaoyang. There was no such thing. Don't spread your lies for others to hear. Haha, <laughs> it was just a joke. Brother Changsheng, don't get angry. Che Gaoyang glanced at Fang Mingguan. They had both seen through some clues about the Huo family's current problems. They were already old opponents, and there was no way to keep things completely secret. It was still possible to see clues. That was especially true considering that the matter with the chaos region had completely blown up. Later, the Zhuanshan Dao sect had come to find them. It would be strange if no one saw the connection. Furthermore, a few days before that, the Huo family had suddenly sealed themselves off for a while. While nothing was certain, it seemed something had happened with Huo Shiangsheng that had made Che Gaoyang probe Huo Changsheng, and this probing really did give results. Although there was no way to determine the exact truth, they knew that the Huo family's interior was not as calm as it appeared. That was enough. Just at this moment, a clamor erupted from the crowd. The alchemists participating in the Pill Emperor competition had arrived. Long Chen slowly walked to his stage. Raising his head, he saw Fang Mingguan and the others. Fang Chen had told Long Chen about Fang Mingguan. Seeing Long Chen look at him, Fang Mingguan nodded slightly to him, expressing his encouragement. Just at this moment, the icy and stern tower administrator also walked in. Long Chen bowed slightly toward Fang Mingguan's nod. After all, this was a senior who was in the same generation as Fang Chang's grandfather. He couldn't be too arrogant toward him. Long Chen then glanced at Huo Changsheng. Huo Changsheng was also looking at him, and he smiled. But this smile was full of disdain. Seeing that enraged Long Chen, and he suddenly pointed at him, shouting, Tower Administrator, I wish to report that there is a shameless old man wanting to prostitute himself to me. He's trying to affect my performance during the competition. Chapter 665 Deliberately Clumsy Translator Born to be the entire crowd became silent. They followed Long Chen's gaze to see Huo Changsheng, whose face was still locked in a stiff sneer. Everyone was dumbfounded. This Long San was a bit too crazy, wasn't he? He actually dared provoke the Huo family's head. Did he not want his life anymore? Even Fang Mingguan and Che Gaoyang were stunned. But then seeing Huo Changsheng's dark expression, they felt incredibly refreshed. At the same time, they admired this little fellow's devotion. He had clearly insulted Huo Changsheng to express his position. This was equivalent to throwing his life in the ring as well. If he wanted to live, he would have to rely on the Fang family's protection. This was a brilliant move by Long Chen that immediately won him the trust of the Fang family. Brat, you want to die. Killing intent surged out of Huo Changsheng. When would he have ever suffered such an insult? It's forbidden to scream and shout in the arena but he's intentionally trying to disturb me. That's not fair, cried Long Chen. 
Those who participate in this competition must comply with the Pill Towers rules. As long as the people outside don't curse and shout at you, anything is permitted. If you don't even have that level of calm, how do you expect to become a powerful alchemist? You are Long San? Since you come from an uncivilized land and don't understand the rules, I'll only give you a warning this time. Next time, I'll immediately expel you, said the tower administrator. Fang Cheng and Che Li Huo's hands were already covered in a layer of cold sweat. Only once they saw that the tower administrator wouldn't expel him did they relax. But the fact that Long Chen dared to brazenly insult Huo Chang Shen like this made them admire Long San's gods, as well as his loyalty toward the Fang family. Long Chen laughed inside. This was what he had expected. The tower administrator was merely in charge of proctoring the competition. He didn't care about anything else, nor did he have to give face to anyone. As a result, a minor infraction on his part only constituted a warning despite what he had done. Although that had been a bit dangerous, this one insult had won him the Fang and Che family's absolute trust. So that gamble had definitely been worth it. I can't shout? All right. Suddenly, in front of everyone, Long Chen raised his fist toward Huo Changsheng. There was one tall middle finger raised. Ha ha ha. Despite being their family heads and having prestigious statuses, Fang Mingyuan and Che Gaoyang couldn't help but laugh. Huo Changsheng's hair stood on end from fury, killing intent gushing out of him, but he didn't dare say anything. If he said anything directly to Long San, he would be rebuked by the tower administrator, and that would be even more embarrassing. Even in Pill Valley, the staff that was in charge of the various lands competitions were powerful members. Even the Huo family was unable to do anything to them. The tower administrator was completely impartial. So despite the fact that the Huo family was unrevealed in the Pill Tower and even had connections in Pill Valley, he didn't dare offend this tower administrator whose cultivation base was even lower than his own. He could only swallow his anger. But Fang Mingyuan and Che Gaoyang's laughter was even harder to bear than Long Chen's insulting posture. A little person will only enjoy success for a moment. We'll see who gets the last laugh, said Huo Changsheng icily. But the other two didn't reply. They simply smiled. That wordless counterattack made him even more furious. This is what is being tested. The tower administrator waved his hand, and Long Chen saw a large block of words appear on his stage. It was a pill formula. Blood soul merging pill. Long Chen was slightly startled. This was a rather neglected kind of medicinal pill. It was normally used by soul cultivators to nourish their blood and calm their soul. It was a high-tier kind of soul-nourishing pill. Amongst fifth-tier pills, its refining difficulty was middling. Fang Cheng had told him that the preliminaries in past years had tested low fifth-tier pills. Thinking of that, Long Chen intentionally made his expression a bit ugly, a trace of panic appearing in his eyes. Hey, what's with Long San? That blood soul merging pill shouldn't be too difficult for him, said Che Gaoyang. Perhaps there really is a problem. According to Fang Chang, this Long San grew up in some backwater mountains. There are many high-tier pill formulas that he has only seen, but hasn't personally refined. Fang Chen gave him many pill formulas and medicinal pills to practice, but those were all low fifth-tier pills that are easy to refine. It seems Long San hasn't refined this kind of pill, and there are very likely a few ingredients that he doesn't recognize, said Fang Mingyuan gravely. As an alchemist, if you wanted to refine a kind of pill, the first thing you needed was the formula. But then you also needed to know all the properties of the medicinal ingredients. You needed to know which ones you should refine first, and in what order you should refine them. If there was a problem with your sequence, then it would be troublesome. Furthermore, each medicinal ingredient's properties were different, and they required different levels of heat to refine. If you didn't know those things, you would be like a blind person groping in the dark. Ah, inexperienced people really aren't so dependable. That child, Fang Chang is still lacking, sighed Fang Mingyuan. If Fang Chen knew that Long San had such flaws, he should have alerted the family. They would have sent people to help him. Now it was troublesome. On their stage, Fang Chen and Che Li Huo also saw Long San's expression, and they immediately understood what was happening. They couldn't help feeling worried, but being worried now didn't have any use. This was not the opening round. They couldn't talk, and so they could only hope for Long San to be lucky. The tower administrator icily shouted, The content of this test is the blood soul merging pill. Each person has three sets of medicinal ingredients, and you have six hours to refine it. As long as you can refine a three ring blood soul merging pill, you'll pass. Those who aren't able to achieve that will be directly eliminated. Time starts now. 
all the participants hastily began to warm up their furnaces and refining pills. The blood soul merging pill was not a small challenge. There was a high chance of failure when refining this pill. Furthermore, there were countless spectators and even alchemy seniors watching. That gave them a great deal of pressure. It was lucky that they had already practiced refining here during the preliminaries. Otherwise, the odds of failure would have been even higher. In truth, this blood soul merging pill was nothing to Long Chen, but he had to act. He carefully examined several medicinal ingredients as if he had never seen them, trying to appraise their properties. Then he began to refine them into powders one by one. Furthermore, he had to act as if he wasn't very familiar with this process. That was a bit difficult on him, but he was quite the professional. Each detail, each mistake he made, played out an extremely meticulous scene, enough to prove he was a novice. Ha ha ha, this Long San is the genius you pulled over? Ha ha ha, now it was Huo Chang Sheng's turn to sneer. Long San didn't even recognize some of the main ingredients in the blood soul merging pill. He was a complete amateur who didn't possess any foundation in alchemy. Just as Long Chen was hastily refining the ingredients, the faster ones had already sealed their cauldrons. Bang. Suddenly, one of the alchemists became vexed. A slight error had caused the contents of his pill furnace to turn to ashes. He hastily calmed himself and began to refine anew. This kind of mistake shouldn't have occurred, but he was too used to refining in a private room. Now that it had changed to this chaotic environment, it was difficult for him to completely focus. Bang. As expected. Following the first person's failure, two people immediately followed. If it wasn't that their pill flame had spiked in temperature, it was that their spiritual strength had faded for a moment, causing the pill to congeal. Pill congealment referred to when the medicinal ingredients had been refined into liquid, but a sudden weakening in the flame caused them to congeal before it was the right time. The liquid would freeze, and then there was no way to continue refining it. Before the pill condensed, all the ingredients essence had to be maintained in liquid form. Only at the final pill condensement would you increase the flame and the amount of spiritual strength, forcing out the moisture to condense it into a pill. Boom. Suddenly, a dense medicinal fragrance filled the arena. Heavens, it's Huo Wufang. He already condensed the pill. Startled cries came from the spectators. It was forbidden to talk within the arena, but that wasn't referring to them. They all hastily looked towards Huo Wufang's furnace. Huo Wufang pridefully opened his furnace lid. Nine pills shone with a brilliant light. There's a six ring pill, as expected of Huo Wufang. He's the top alchemy genius of the Huo family in the past thousand years. The blood soul merging pill was already hard enough to refine. When adding in this noisy environment, refining it so quickly was truly admirable. It had only been an hour. One reason he could do it so quickly was because of his beast flame. After all, it was the Earth Dragon Golden Blaze. Ranked first on the Beast Flame rankings. The other reason was that Huo Wufang's alchemy arts and mental quality were truly excellent. Huo Changsheng looked at Huo Wufang with pride. Paying a huge price to save him had been entirely worth it. Suddenly, another light shone. A flame appeared in Long Chen's furnace. But this caused everyone to be stunned. This idiot. He's actually merging the smoke grass with the fire dragon root first. Does he even know alchemy? Insults rang out. These two powders couldn't be directly merged. Long Chen failed several times before stopping. He just watched others refine. Good. He's getting smarter. Fang Mingyuan smiled. Rather than groping around on his own, it was better to watch other people's refining process. The pill formula that everyone had been given was just a general outline. It didn't go into detail. And if you didn't understand the medicinal properties, there was no way for you to refine it. HMPH. Getting smart now is too late. There's only an hour left, sneered Huo Changsheng. Only then did Che Gaoyang look at the hourglass. There was not much sand remaining. Long Chen looked at the hourglass and felt that it was about time. He began to throw in powders into his furnace. Even at this time, he still wants to show off. Chapter 666 Spiritual Pill Upgrade Art Translator Born to be Long Chen was doing the same thing as last time. He threw in all his medicinal powers at once. Did he think this was the same thing as last time? Last time, he had only had seven medicinal powders, but now he was refining a fifth tier pill. There were over a hundred ingredients. HMPH, does this idiot think this is still a second tier pill? He, he has no choice but to be this stupid. There's not enough time. He can only risk it all. Oh, brother Guangguan, don't you also like to evaluate people? Why aren't you saying anything today? The person called brother Guangguan shook his head. I don't feel like it. 
My face hurts. Last time Long Chen had refined the pills, he had been the one to criticize him the most. As a result, he had been the one to receive the most resounding slap. A hundred and seven medicinal powders entered Long Chen's pill furnace, along with his vast spiritual strength. His spiritual strength kept the powders separated. Although they grew hotter within the furnace, they didn't begin to merge yet. If he merged them now, this wouldn't be refining pills but simply creating a furnace of paste. But seeing Long Chen was keeping all the ingredients separated from each other, every alchemist here was startled. Even the tower administrator's expression changed. The tower administrator and the three family heads were also able to do this. But just how old was Long San? He was a fraction of their age. But he already possessed such terrifying spiritual strength. This Long San really is a marvel. It's just regretful he wasn't raised by us from a young age. Then his accomplishments would be so high that we could only look up to him. Sighed Fang Mingyuan. Such a brilliant pearl had been lost in the mountains for so many years. If he failed this time, it really would be regretful. After all, this competition only occurred once a century, and if he missed this chance, he would have no destiny with the Pill Emperor competition ever again. Damn. Long San has merged the Yuxin grass with the small fowl flower. That will greatly reduce the pill's quality. Fang Mingyuan's expression suddenly changed. Although Long San would still be able to refine the pill, this would cause the quality to drop, let alone three rings. Even one ring would be difficult. Che Gaoyang and Fang Mingyuan were both bitter. They blamed themselves for not paying enough attention to Long San and not treating the opening round as anything important. This one mistake had caused a complete failure. Currently, everyone else had already finished refining. 90% of the people had succeeded. There were also some who weren't mentally strong enough to refine in such an environment and failed to meet the specifications. There's still half an incense stick's worth of time. Do you think Long San will make it? Either way, I'm completely convinced. Even if he fails, just this terrifying spiritual strength is something I could never hope to achieve. It's too abnormal. In the face of Long Chen's spiritual strength, countless people had to admit defaturing there's no if about it. He'll definitely be eliminated. The merger of the yukes and grass and small fowl flower ensured that he would fail. He doesn't even recognize the medicinal ingredients. He deserves to fail. What's the point of just showing off? There were also people who felt intense jealousy. Fuck off. If you had such terrifying soul energy, you could also show off. But if you don't have that ability, then don't randomly crap all over the place. Exactly. You don't have any ability, and you don't want to see anyone with more skill than you. Just how dark is your heart? In your entire life, you'll only be able to be a weak pill king, sneered someone upon seeing his identity badge. That person was enraged, but there were so many people against him. Furthermore, they were pill emperors, and he had no choice but to slip away. He had no choice but to slip away, as he was worried others would remember him. If they made life hard on him in the future, he would be screwed. The pill fragrance has come out. A burst of fragrance came from Long Chen's furnace. That was what occurred when the moisture in the furnace was being forced out. But Fang Cheng and Che Li Huo weren't the slightest bit excited about that. Instead, they were sorrowful. Who would have expected the preliminaries would be so difficult this time? The medicinal ingredients and pill formulas Fang Cheng had left for Long Chen had actually been useless. Long Chen sensed the medicinal energy in the furnace was about to take the form of a pill inside inside. Only now is the time to show off. For the Enlightenment Palace Star. For the sake of refining the dragon blood, I even had to drag down my own face. Boom. Suddenly, Long Chen's spiritual strength gushed forth, forming a 30-meter whirlpool in the air above his furnace. What? Everyone let out startled cries. Even the tower administrator stood up. This is the spiritual pill upgrade art? He's actually able to use it? How vast is his spiritual strength? Fang Mingyuan was filled with shock. This spiritual pill upgrade art was something used when the pill was about to form. It could absorb the medicinal energy within the pill fragrance to increase the pill's quality. Essentially everyone present knew about this technique, but 99% of them had never used it. It wasn't that they didn't want to use it, but that they weren't able to. They didn't have enough soul energy. Of course, if a pill ancestor wanted to refine a fifth tier pill, then with their powerful spiritual strength, they would be able to use this technique. But what pill ancestor would be so bored as to waste their precious spiritual strength to refine fifth tier pills? Then they really would have something wrong with their heads. Pill ancestors refined sixth tier pills, and that exhausted a great deal of spiritual strength. They didn't have enough left over to use this spiritual pill upgrade art. 
So this spiritual pill upgrade art was something everyone here knew how to use, but they would never use such a trash technique. The principles were very simple, but there was no practical value behind it. The fact that Long Chen knew how to use this technique wasn't shocking. It was that he had endless spiritual strength. Even the many ancient pill seniors present had never seen someone with such vast spiritual strength. Alchemists valued the quality of the spiritual strength more. In the registration, the only thing they tested was the quality. The amount of spiritual strength wasn't so important. As long as you had enough to refine a furnace of pills, it was enough. You could just rest and recover your spiritual strength before the next furnace. So no one cared about it. Well, it wasn't necessarily that they didn't care about it, but simply that no one had such vast spiritual strength. So Long Chen's usage of this technique deeply shook them. The huge whirlpool above Long Chen's pill furnace rapidly sucked in all the surrounding air. I get it. This little fellow really has some skill. Perhaps he can pass. Fang Mingyuan suddenly slapped his leg. Che Gaoyang also nodded. Now that hundreds of people have refined the blood soul merging pill, the medicinal fragrance in the air is extremely dense. This technique can absorb all that scattered medicinal energy for his pill. He might not be able to pass if it was just his own pill fragrance he was absorbing. But now, he really is brazen. Time's up, shouted the person in charge of watching the hourglass. Boom. At practically the same time, a loud explosion rang out. That sound was like heavenly music in the ears of the Fang and Che families. Even with their calm, Che Gaoyang and Fang Mingyuan's hearts jumped a couple of times. As for Fang Cheng and Che Li Huo, their hearts practically rose out of their chests. Long San was an alchemy genius. No, they couldn't use genius anymore. He had to be something beyond that. His alchemy potential was limitless. If he had studied here from a young age, the two of them would probably have been so stifled that they would want to kill themselves. Long Chen's expression was nervous as he slowly opened the lid. Nine medicinal pills lay inside his furnace. Eight of them were dark, but one shone with brilliant lines. There were three rings on it. Oh, I succeeded. Long Chen pumped his arm, but inside he cursed. This act had been too tiring. When using the spiritual pill upgrade art, he had poured all the medicinal energy into just one pill. Long Chen had essentially been watching as three rings appeared on the pill. If he had wanted to, he could have continued increasing the quality. He had clearly known the result but he had still had to act so nervous, and then act like he was incomparably relieved and excited. Long Chen was starting to admire himself more and more. He really was becoming more and more shameless. Ha ha ha. Success. Now that the preliminaries were over, Fang Chen and Che Li Huo cheered and laughed. This sudden reversal made them go crazy with joy, and they had an urge to hug Long Chen and kiss him. The preliminaries are over. Those who passed, take your new badges so you can attend the elimination round. The tower administrator waved his hand, and there were people who immediately walked over, handing out badges. As for those who failed, they could only sadly leave. Little fellow, you really are not bad. The tower administrator actually praised Long Chen before leaving. Haha, <laughs> Long San, let's go celebrate. Fang Chen pulled Long Chen directly out of the arena. Long Chen had made a perfect reversal, his radiance completely outshining Hua Wufang who had refined a six-ring pill and finished his refinement first. Hua Wufang's current expression was ugly, and he also brought his people away. Ha ha ha, brother Che, let's go celebrate with the children. Fang Mingyuan laughed and left with Che Gaoyang. They didn't even give a glance at the gloomy Huo Changsheng. Long San, is it? Just wait, you're playing with fire. Chapter 667 Medicinal Ingredient Repository Translator Born to be the Fang Mansion was located in the city's west, but was still considered part of the city's core. From here, it was even possible to see the Seven Treasure Jewel Tower. Currently, there was a lively celebration going on within the Fang Mansion as the Fang family celebrated everyone smoothly passing the preliminaries. In truth, those that could be pulled into the Fang family's side were all elites amongst elites. This level of pill refining test was not difficult for them. The Che family's people were also present. The two families' relations were good, and they decided to celebrate together. Even the two families' heads made a personal appearance that made the festivities livelier. Good job Long San. Fang Mingyuan patted Long Chen's shoulder. This praise wasn't toward Long Chen's talent, but toward his display today. It was toward his character. In front of everyone, he had dared to insult Huo Changsheng, tying his life to the Fang family's survival, expressing his absolute loyalty. Currently, it was still unclear which family would be the final winner. 
The fact that he dared to do so was truly daring. You're too courteous. Brother Fang and Brother Che have given me the kindness of their patronage. If it weren't for them, how could I have obtained the beast flame and passed this test? I might come from poor origins, but I've always believed that anyone human should know how to repay gratitude a thousand times, said Long Chen. Long Chen didn't actually have any good feelings toward the Fang and Che families, but Fang Cheng and Che Li Hua were to his liking. Despite being noble disciples, they didn't give him a loathsome feeling like Hua Wu Fang. Most importantly, Long Chen felt guilty about using them. He didn't like that feeling, so he had to help them handle the Huo family. Well said. A person who gives you a drink when you're thirsty can't be forgotten. Nowadays, most people are filled with such treachery that they change sides like the changing of the wind. It's rare for someone to possess such a pure heart now. Come, accompany this old man for a drink. What shocked everyone was that Fang Mingyuan actually took the initiative to toast Long Chen. What level of honor was that? The alchemists that had sided with the Fang and Che families all felt intense envy, but there was also no way around that. After finishing their drink, Fang Mingyuan said, Long San, there's no need to mention anything about your talent. I've never seen someone with such vast spiritual strength, but a good blade needs to be tempered. No matter how high your talent is, you still have to bitterly train to have accomplishments. Right now, your fatal weakness is that you haven't studied enough. You are lacking knowledge on many medicinal ingredients, making it difficult for you to use your vast spiritual strength. It was extremely dangerous today. So, starting today, I will send Fang Chen with you to the medicinal ingredient repository. You'll learn to identify various medicinal ingredients and gain experience with various pill formulas. There's still one month until the elimination round. The preliminaries are just a starting round in the rules. The elimination round is 10 times more difficult. So this one month's time is very crucial to you. If you pass the elimination round, you'll get another month until the finals. At that time, you'll be competing with Huo Wu Fang. This pill emperor competition isn't just a chance for the Fang, Che, and Huo families to compete. It's also a chance for you to change your destiny. The top 10 will all be given special badges that will allow them to enter Pill Valley later. The top 10 are given bountiful rewards. And as for the top 3, he, according to previous years, the rewards were so amazing that even I am greedy for them, laughed Fang Mingyuan. Other than Long Chen, everyone present desired to become Pill Valley disciples as soon as possible. Pill Valley was a holy land to alchemists. So Long San, treat this time importantly. I will lock you in the repository and have you lay down a solid foundation without rest. You don't have any problems with that, right? Asked Fang Mingyuan. No problems. Many thanks for your patronage. Long Chen was incomparably excited. That wasn't acting. Hadn't he acted so long before just for this opportunity? He could finally enter the medicinal ingredient repository. Long Chen could practically see the Enlightenment Palace pill before him. Seeing how happy Long Chen was, Fang Mingyuan nodded. Long San wasn't just loyal, he was also hardworking and clever. He knew this opportunity was a rare one. Long Chen's mood was now excellent, and he continuously raised his cup to Fang Chang, Che Li Huo, and the others. When Fang Chen told the story about how he had met Long San, the two families' higher ups cried tears of laughter. They had actually gotten along because of slapping the Huo family's people. Che Li Huo drank a bit too much, and his tongue had loosened. He suddenly said, TCH. Who does the Huo family think they are? Aren't they just in charge of selling pills? Those despicable cheats. Who knows how much profit they've swindled. Now they're getting more and more arrogant. Actually stretching their hands toward my Che and Fang family's territory. Fucking hell. They even want to expel us from the pill tower. Who do they think they are? Hearing this stunned the higher ups. Che Gao Yang was just about to chide him. As saying such things in front of everyone would affect them negatively. But before he could. Long Chen suddenly said, Exactly. From top to bottom, there's not a single good person in the Huo family. That Huo Changshen even wanted to prostitute himself to me. TCH. But I don't have such tastes. Brother Che, if you dare to face the Huo family, then I, Long San, will be the first to charge up. I'll destroy that group of bastards for you. Fuck. This time I'm going to go all out training. When the time comes, I'll take first place. And then once I'm in Pill Valley, We'll work together to exterminate them. Haha, <laughs> good brother. I knew you were the most courageous. Come, let's drink. Thump. Che Li Huo had truly drunk too much. Furthermore, alchemists naturally had weaker constitutions. 
This wine was so strong that Che Li Huo collapsed on the ground. Once everyone returned to their rooms to rest, Fang Mingguan quietly asked Che Gao Yang, What do you think about this Long San? Is he dependable? When he speaks, his spiritual fluctuations match his words. There's no sign he's lying. He should have been speaking from his heart. So it seems he's very dependable, said Che Gao Yang. How regretful. If only we had encountered him a year ago. With just a year's training, then with his abnormal spiritual strength, he could definitely defer Turing Huo Wu Fang, sighed Fang Mingguan. The Huo family is slowly encroaching on us. There are already several traitors in our families. But although we know that, we're helpless. The Huo family has accumulated an immense amount of wealth, and they've made countless connections. If Huo Wufang takes the first place, then with Pill Valley's grooming, the two of our families really might be either forced out of the Pill Tower or exterminated. I've already made my preparations to make a final struggle, but this Long San has caused a change of plans. Let's keep watching. I really don't want to use our last resort. Hopefully, Long San can bring us a new opportunity, said Che Gao Yang. That would be good, but we also can't place all our hopes on him. We should also quicken the pace with the other matter. If Long San doesn't work out, we'll continue with our other plan. HMPH, they want us to scram? Then they'll have to pay a terrible price, said Fang Mingguan. All right, then I'll order the entire repository to be open to Long San. He'll have full access to any medicinal ingredients and secret tomes. This is for the best because Long San has drawn all of the Huo family's attention. It's even more favorable for our plan. The next day, Long Chen had just gotten out of bed when a maiden brought him back to the Seven Treasure Jewel Tower. Long Chen's wish was finally achieved, and he entered the medicinal ingredient repository. Heavens, this is too spectacular. How did they do this? When he entered, Long Chen was stunned. This storage room was over a hundred miles wide. How was this possible? The tower wasn't even that big. The medicinal ingredient repository is different from the other storage rooms. There's a formation here, one that increases the space. The principles aren't that different from a spatial ring, but it's much, much more complicated, explained the maiden. Spatial rings were only filled with static space. But this space was the same as the outside world. It was just that the outside world looked small, but the inside world was extremely vast. The medicinal ingredients here are organized from the first tier to the sixth tier. There are millions of kinds per tier. You don't need to waste your time with fourth tier ingredients and below. You just need to go through the region with the fifth and sixth tier ingredients. Of course, you technically only need to go through the fifth tier region. Learn to identify the ingredients, their uses their properties, and their limitations. There's a detailed explanation in front of each ingredient. Furthermore, they are also split into common and rare ingredients. You should focus on the common ones, said the maiden. Long Chen was brought to the fifth tier region. He saw practically endless shelves filled with medicinal ingredients. Each medicinal ingredient had a label in front of it that was filled with detailed information. Even with Long Chen's calm, his heart was pounding. The pill tower was truly the pill tower. This level of ability was shocking. The few ingredients in Long Chen's primal chaos space paled in comparison to this place. He only had a few thousand kinds of ingredients, and that referred to all tires. But here, they had millions of different ingredients per tier. Thank you. I'm going to start now. You, if you have anything to do, you should go do it. Long Chen smiled. All right. I'll wait outside the repository. If you have any questions, just directly come ask me. After saying that, the maiden left. Ha 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 ha. I've struck gold. Long Chen was laughing crazily inside. But he didn't display it too much. He noticed that he wasn't the only one in the repository. Others were perhaps taking out ingredients or in charge of replenishing them. Long Chen went directly to the rare section with ingredients that were parts of very neglected branches of alchemy and very rarely used. These precious medicinal ingredients were extremely difficult to gather in the outside world or the Huai insect would have long since managed to find them for Long Chen. He, Enlightenment Palace Star, just wait for me. Chapter 668 Crazy Transplantation Translator Born to be colored glass grass, my treasure. I finally met you. Nice, nice. Brilliance leaf wood. I'm sorry I made you wait this long. Nine leaf cricket pearl flower? It really is wonderful to see you. Every time he saw these new medicinal ingredients, Babel would come out of Long Chen's mouth. These were ingredients used for the Enlightenment Palace pill, and it was almost impossible to buy them in the outside world. They keep track of the numbers of these ingredients. 
I have to think of a way. Got it. Long Chen directly threw the colored glass grass into the primal chaos space. The withered ingredient instantly recovered, and was filled with vitality. Long Chen directly tore off a piece of its roots and threw it into the soil. He then continued transplanting new ingredients. As for the original colored glass grass, he sucked out all its life energy and replaced it. All he needed was a single root for each ingredient. That one root was equivalent to countless ingredients. Continuing with this method, he crazily transplanted the precious ingredients. He prioritized the Enlightenment Palace Pills ingredients first. Eh? There's one missing. The Heavenly Star Dragon Saliva Grass. He had originally been lacking over 20 ingredients. Now he was only missing this one ingredient. The Heavenly Star Dragon Saliva Grass was one of the three most important ingredients for the pill. It was impossible to replace it with any other ingredient. Ah, whatever. I can only slowly think of a way. First, let me transplant all these new plants. Long Chen began a large-scale plunder. There were some plants that he only needed to take a small portion of them to transplant. That small amount wouldn't affect the medicinal effect. But some were like the colored glass grass. If he took a portion of it, its medicinal effect would be crippled. So he had to bring them into the primal chaos space and then replace them. He had also learned from the pill tower. He marked off a region in the primal chaos space just for the sixth tier ingredients. He also made another section for the fifth tier ingredients. Now it wouldn't be so troublesome to find them in the future. In the blink of an eye, ten days passed. Long Chen had worked hard during this time, and now every ingredient here was also within his primal chaos space. Mr. Long San, what are you? The maiden hastily stood up when she saw him walk out. I've finished studying, said Long Chen. Of course he was done. He had taken what he should take, and he had taken what he shouldn't have taken. Now that there was nothing left to take, it was time to leave. But the family had said you should stay in seclusion until the elimination round, said the maiden. She wasn't able to oppose the family head's orders. I've already memorized all the fifth and sixth tier medicinal ingredients effects, uses, and characters. Staying here would be a waste of time. I need to go practice refining, said Long Chen. How is that possible? There were over a million of just the common ingredients. It's impossible. Long Chen's expression sank. My matters aren't something you need to question, nor do I need to explain myself to you. If you're afraid of the responsibility, I'll go take a trip with you to see the family head. Long Chen was too lazy to be entangled with her. As he had expected, he had only just returned to his room when Fang Mingyuan and Fang Chen came. Long Chen smiled and directly answered their quizzing. As a result, the two of them were dumbfounded. He knew all the effects and properties of the medicinal ingredients they asked him about as well as the back of his hand. He could even explain the properties of very rare ingredients in great detail. Haha, <laughs> I just have a good memory. I can remember anything I see, said Long Chen. Fang Cheng and Fang Mingyuan came to a sudden comprehension. A person's memory was related to their spiritual strength. Considering Long Chen's vast spiritual strength, they could understand how he had such an eidetic memory. Long San, now that you're familiar with the medicinal ingredients, and you're also familiar with the pill formulas, the only thing you're lacking is experience. You should go to the pill refinement pavilion tomorrow. There will be people to help you refine there. As long as you say a pill's name, they'll immediately arrange all the medicinal ingredients for you. It'll save you precious time, said Fang Chang. All right, I'll go right now. I also want to practice my alchemy, as that's the fastest way to improve. Long Chen appeared incomparably excited, but inside, he had a desire to cry. With his pill god memories, what alchemy experience did he need? But it wouldn't make sense for Long San to not go. Not only did he have to go, but he had to act happy about it. Long Chen was helpless. As a result, Long Chen was sent to the Seven Treasure Jewel Towers Pill Refinement Pavilion. Thinking of Fang Cheng and Fang Mingyuan's grave faces, Long Chen wanted to cry. Not only did he have to refine pills, but he had to refine all kinds of them, showing them he was completely obsessed with alchemy. He spent all day refining. Furthermore, he couldn't even refine them too well and had to throw in a few mistakes. He almost puked from the effort. But in the end, Fang Cheng and Fang Mingyuan heard reports of Long Chen's tireless practice. They greatly admired his perseverance. Let alone them, even Long Chen was admiring himself. Not everyone could be such a professional at acting. Luckily, after 10 days, Fang Cheng finally brought Long Chen out of the Seven Treasure Jewel Tower. After all, he couldn't let Long Chen simply continue to go all out like this. In one go, 
he had refined over a hundred furnaces of pills. That was extremely taxing on the soul. He needed to rest before the elimination round. Long Chen finally escaped from his torment. After returning, he slept for a whole day and night before entering seclusion. Seeing how hardworking Long Chen was, Fang Chen thought to himself that he was definitely a pill fanatic. However, what Long Chen was doing in seclusion wasn't refining pills, but urging on the primal chaos bead to get the medicinal ingredients to grow faster. Under Long Chen's careful care, medicinal fields dozens of miles wide became filled with fifth and sixth tier medicinal ingredients. Just these medicinal fields alone were priceless treasures. Now that Long Chen had advanced to the Xianchen realm, the primal chaos space had grown to a terrifying width of 3,000 miles. Other than the black soil and some medicinal fields, Long Chen had filled this entire space with immense trees. The primal chaos space was essentially a verdant forest. These trees were his life saving measures. When he was injured, he could draw out their life energy to heal himself. However, with the increase in his cultivation base, his physical body also became much more powerful. When he was injured, it would take an incredible amount of life energy to heal. These trees were unable to keep up with his needs. The quality of these trees was too low. But for now, he wasn't able to find any better trees. So he could only keep using them. Long Chen estimated that although the primal chaos space had grown larger, he would only be able to recover from heavy injuries a total of three times before running out of energy. Before he had advanced he could recover around 10 times from the brink of death. But now it was only 3. It wasn't that the tree's life energy was weak, but simply that Long Chen's body was too monstrous. If I refined the green dragon essence blood, would I even be able to use these trees? Long Chen complained bitterly. He needed his body to be able to endure a thousand caddies of force to refine the green dragon essence blood. With one caddy being 300,000 pounds, he estimated his endurance was around 500 caddies. There was still a long way to go until 1,000 caddies. If it was according to ordinary means, perhaps he would have to reach the sea expansion realm before refining it. But he cultivated the 9-star hegemon body art. If he could condense the 4th star, his body would grow even stronger. At that time, he should be able to refine it. Furthermore, the dragon expert had said that after refining it, he could cultivate the dragon blood body tempering art, allowing his physical body to grow to an unimaginable point. A point that I can't imagine? Could it be something on the same level as enchanted items? Or even treasure items? Eh? Where is Bloodrinker? Long Chen suddenly thought of Bloodrinker. After the battle, he hadn't used it again. He had thought that it was still on a large platform in the primal chaos space where he kept it. But now he found that that space was empty. Sweeping out his divine sense, he suddenly saw that Bloodrinker was stabbed into the phoenix blood black gold. Long Chen was shocked. How had Bloodrinker moved on its own? Hastily investigating, he was surprised to sense that a strange energy was currently being absorbed by Bloodrinker. Bloodrinker can absorb the energy within the Phoenix Blood Black Gold? Then was it originally made of this material? It wants to absorb its energy to heal. Novaloon.com Long Chen was greatly shaken. He remembered what Moe had said before he had left. He had said that Bloodrinker was also a treasure item, and an exceedingly terrifying one. However, it was gravely injured and its spirit was still in slumber. Seeing Bloodrinker slowly absorb energy from the Phoenix Blood Black Gold, Long Chen was filled with delight. He urged Bloodrinker on, wanting it to absorb faster so it could recover. This was an incredibly great thing for Long Chen. If Bloodrinker recovered, then with such a terrifying treasure item, couldn't he slaughter sea expansion experts? Just as he was filled with delight, he heard knocking from the outside world. He hastily withdrew his mind from the primal chaos space. The knocker was Fang Chang. Time had passed quickly. Today was the day of the elimination round. Long San, how do you feel? Are you confident? He, don't worry. This time I'll properly suppress Huo Wu Fang. Long Chen moved out with Fang Cheng in high spirits. His mood today was truly excellent. That signified that other people's moods would probably not be so good. Chapter 669 Repeated Failures Translator born to be in front of the seven treasure jewel tower. There was already a sea of people around the arena. There were even more people than last time. The elimination round this time had drawn out many alchemy seniors. The pill emperor competition was split into four parts. The opening round, the preliminaries, the elimination round, and the finals. It was extremely simple, but the elimination stage had the cruelest washout rate. In the past, more than 70% of the competitors would wash out in the elimination round. 
Last month in the preliminaries, only a tenth of the competitors were washed out. Currently, there were still over 800 people in the arena. Their expressions were grave. The elimination rounds test is refining the nine revolution life pill. The tower administrator's emotionless voice rang out in everyone's ears. What? Virtually every competitor's expression changed. That nine revolution life pill was considered a peak difficulty pill amongst fifth tier pills. Someone on the verge of death could consume one to guarantee that they could survive for another six hours. Their life energy would not fade, nor would their soul dissipate. It bought them precious time to be healed. In truth, a pill only needed a 50% failure rate to be classified as a high difficulty pill. But the nine revolution life pill had a failure rate of 70%. It was one of the most difficult fifth tier pills to refine. The worst part was that the 70% failure rate referred to refining in a private, peaceful room. In this chaotic environment, the odds of failure would be above 90%, but they only had three portions of medicinal ingredients. Moreover, if they failed the first time, the odds of failing again would be even higher, almost approaching 100%. So every competing alchemist's expression was exceedingly ugly. This kind of competition would probably depend on who was luckier. Each person has three sets of medicinal ingredients. The time limit is 24 hours, and the pill must reach the five ring level in order to pass, announced the tower administrator. Hearing this, the competitors turned ashen. Even Huo Changsheng, Fang Mingyuan, and Che Gaoyang were shocked. How was the competition this year so abnormal? The pill formulas were harder than before, and the requirements for passing were even higher. What if no one managed to pass the elimination round? Wouldn't this generation's pill emperor competition become a joke? That's impossible. No one can refine something that difficult. One of the competitors roared furiously. This task was essentially impossible. Take him out of here. The tower administrator waved his hand, and four white-robed men rushed onto that person's stage. Ignoring his status as a grand pill emperor, they dragged him out of the arena like he was a dead dog. If you want to give up, then hurry up and leave. Don't waste so many words. If anyone wants to cause such a disturbance again, they'll immediately lose their qualifications. Let the elimination round begin. Following the tower administrator's cold shout, the nine revolution life pills formula appeared on the stage, and a group of white-robed men distributed three sets of medicinal ingredients to everyone. Long Chen didn't really care about the nine revolution life pill. Looking at other people's expressions, he saw Che Li Huo and Fang Chen looking gravely at him. He gave them a reassuring glance his meaning that this was nothing. In truth, even for them, they would have a high failure rate when refining the nine revolution life pill. Furthermore, to refine a five ring one was quite the challenge. Long Chen looked over the alchemists whom he had drunk with several times now, and he saw that they were extremely focused and tense as they began to split up the ingredients. Some of them were already sweating. They were under a great deal of pressure in this kind of situation. Suddenly, Long Chen sensed someone was looking at him. He turned to see Huo Wufang sneering in his direction. Once Long Chen was looking at him, Huo Wufang raised a thumb and then dipped it down towards his butt. The meaning was that Long Chen was only fit to stay far behind him. That action drew many people's gazes, and even the tower administrator frowned upon seeing it. But he didn't say anything, because as long as you didn't speak, it wouldn't count as breaking the rules. Ha ha ha, Huo Wufang is cursing Long San. Long San can only stay behind him and eat his crap laughed the spectators. TCH. What little people. They want to play with me. Long Chen directly jumped on top of his stage, drawing everyone's gaze. He then pointed his finger at the distant Huo Changshen with a faint smile. Next, he pointed to Huo Wufang's butt and put on a pleasured expression. At that instant, he threw a gold coin to the ground and then picked it up. For a moment, everyone was confused. What was this supposed to mean? Such complicated actions made it so they couldn't understand it. Ha ha ha, this fellow really is a marvel, but this world did still have some smart people who managed to figure out the meaning behind Long Chen's actions. What? What did he mean? Don't just laugh by yourself. Long San's meaning is, Huo Wufang's family head likes to prostitute himself, while Huo Wufang likes to sell his butt. They're all sluts. One. Ha 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 ha. Uncontrollable laughter rang out from the crowd. Long San had definitely reached the peak of cursing people. The thunderous laughter included Fang Mingyuan and Che Gaoyang. Long San was truly peak grade. He was even able to do such a thing. Then seeing Huo Changsheng's twisted expression, they felt incredibly refreshed. Their stifled anger from so many years was finally being released. You, raged Huo Wufang. 
Shut up. If you make a ruckus, you'll immediately be eliminated. The tower administrator finally opened his mouth. Huo Wufang shook and hastily shut his mouth. Normally, his Huo family could dominate the entire eastern wasteland. But here he was facing Pill Tower's tower administrator. He didn't dare be arrogant. He had no choice but to suppress his anger. He looked over and saw that Long Chen was mouthing something. Although he didn't speak, it seemed he was saying, Slot, now you should be more well behaved. The veins on Huo Wufang's head were bulging, and he was clenching his teeth so hard it seemed they might break. This Long San was too infuriating, and if this continued, let alone refining pills, he might just die of anger. He turned away and closed his eyes, focusing himself. He had to calm down first, or he wouldn't be able to refine the Nine Revolution Life Pill. Now that Huo Wufang was no longer looking at him, Long Chen had no way to enrage him any further. He could only jump off. He saw Fang Chen looking at him, and his meaning was that he should calmly focus on refining the pill as that was more important. Long Chen gave him a gesture meaning that he had confidence. He then started warming up his furnace and began to refine his ingredients one by one. Excellent. Long San has advanced a great deal over this month. He knows which ingredients to refine first, and his technique has improved. There are almost no flaws at all. He really is an alchemy genius. Fang Mingyuan nodded. He had clearly seen Long Chen's progress this month. His work ethic was practically monstrous, almost reaching a kind of obsession. The reason he had his current accomplishments was not a coincidence. Suddenly, a muffled bang rang out and smoke began coming out of a person's pill furnace. The slightest carelessness from that person had caused all his work to be ruined just as he began merging the powders. Clenching his teeth, that person once more began to refine. The spectators couldn't help shaking their heads. Although the competitors were all geniuses, they were still too young. They didn't have enough experience. At this time, the best thing to do was to calm down first. Only once you recover to your peak mental state should you continue refining again. This kind of rashness would multiply his odds of failure. As expected, the next time, he only managed to merge seven powders when his flame jumped in power. All the medicinal powders were instantly turned to ash. A-H-H. No, that person suddenly let out a furious roar, causing the people around him to jump. And as a result, bang, a dozen explosive sounds rang out. Quite a few people had been disturbed by his roar. Ruining all their hard work. UBTCH. Fucker. Furious roars rang out. They had originally been completely focused on refining. But this person's shout had ruined all that work. It was extremely impactful. Expel anyone who made a ruckus. Ordered the tower administrator. White robed experts immediately began kicking people out. No. We're innocent. It was that bastard who implicated us. We're the victims. Several of them were unwilling. Cursing people had just been an instinct. But the tower administrator didn't give them any chance to explain. The white-robed men kicked them out of the arena. Those people who were furious but hadn't had a chance to curse hastily shut their mouths. The arena was deathly silent for a moment as everyone focused on refining. Six hours later, one alchemist suddenly laughed. I've failed. I fucking failed. Ha ha ha. That person's laugh immediately caused quite a few people to fail their refinements. Those people hatefully glared at him. That bastard had done it intentionally. He had failed all three refinements, and he was fated to be eliminated. He wanted to bring others down with him. People were just that evil. If they couldn't obtain something good, they wouldn't want anyone else to obtain it either. Several people repeated this, implicating quite a few people. But the tower administrator merely watched. Anyone who spoke was directly eliminated. Long Chen's expression was calm. Those people's little tricks were useless against him. He was focused on refining. Suddenly. The person behind him left his stage. He had already publicly announced that he had failed. But when that person walked past Long Chen's stage, he suddenly opened his mouth, and his entire body's spiritual key began to surge. That caused the distant Fang Mingyuan and Che Gao Yang's expressions to change, while a pleased smile appeared on Huo Changsheng's face. 1. There's a pun here based on An. The first one is slot. The second one is to pick up a coin. Chapter 670 The Secret Behind Refining the Pill Translator Born to be but when that person had just opened his mouth and his throat had just begun to tremble, before he could even make a sound, a large hand viciously slapped across his face. With an explosive sound, that person's facial bones broke and he strangely flew in an arc toward the distant Huo Wufang. What? Everyone was startled. They saw Long Chen was still in his slapping posture. That slap had come from him. 
They hastily looked back onto his stage and saw a translucent hand holding the furnace lid. Under his spiritual strength's control, there wasn't the slightest impact on his refinement. The thing that shocked the people the most was that Hua Wufang's position was behind Long Chen. But while Long Chen had slapped this person from the front, he strangely flew behind him. Originally, when that person had been about to leave, Hua Wufang had stealthily given him a meaningful glance. That person had immediately understood, and he had just been about to use his full strength to let out the loudest possible roar. But it was impossible for such a trick to escape Long Chen's eyes. What kind of joke was that? From the start, Long Chen had been paying attention to everything that was happening. That person's furious roar became mute. As for the slap, just what kind of person was Long Chen? As the original creator of the face-slapping divine ability, he could send someone flying in any direction he wanted with a slap. However, other people had never seen such a bizarre force. How could someone be hit from the front but be sent flying behind the attacker? This move had surpassed the scope of many people's understanding. Hua Wufang had always been paying attention to Long Chen. Now seeing this person flying over, his expression completely changed. If he was struck, it would be extremely troublesome. Instead of messing with Long Chen, he had brought trouble to himself. He hadn't expected Long Chen to have enough spiritual strength that he dared to leave his furnace. The tower administrator didn't have any intention of interfering in this. He just coldly watched. In truth, Hua Wufang's actions could not have possibly escaped his eyes. The tower administrator had simply wanted to see Long Chen's ability to adapt. A great alchemist not only required talent and perseverance, but also an unwaveringly calm heart. That was why he hadn't done anything. When Long Chen had been in trouble, he hadn't done anything. Now that Long Chen had sent the trouble back to its originator, he also had no intention of doing anything. Flamma Cloud Palm. A ruthless expression appeared on Hua Wufang's face. Waving his hand, a huge, golden flame palm slammed into that person. Boom. That person was sent flying by the flame palm. His entire body had been burned black. It was unknown whether or not he was still alive. The Earth Dragon Golden Blaze truly is terrifying, said someone. Alchemy could not be separated from pill flames. When an alchemist met with a flame attack, the pill flame within them would automatically protect them. But that person's flame hadn't had the slightest ability to resist the Earth Dragon Golden Blaze. The title of first rank on the Beast Flame rankings was not undeserved. To treat his subordinate like this. He. How cruel. How will he face his subordinates in the future? Some people clearly couldn't stand Hua Wufang's actions. These people were unaffiliated alchemists. So they didn't have so many misjivings. Hua Wufang was in front of tens of thousands of people. Furthermore, he and Long Chen were the focal points. Each of their actions was caught in the eyes of the spectators. That little glance he had made was something quite a few people had noticed. They had all felt that as the number one disciple of the Huo family, acting like this was too shameless. Later, he had even gotten rid of that person as soon as he was done using him like a tool. As expected, the ancestor will give birth to the same kind of descendant. They'll decline generation after generation, sighed Che Gao Yang. Obviously, these words were an insult to the Huo family. Huo Changsheng sneered. There are always losses and wins with split-second decisions. Can ignorant people understand that principle? Che Gao Yang and Fang Mingyuan merely smiled. Too lazy to continue fighting with words. In the arena, there were already people bringing away that chaired person. Over six hours had passed, and now only half of the competitors remained. Many people had already failed three times just from merging the medicinal powders. However, this place was truly filled with elites. Even under this much pressure, so many of them had begun to seal their furnaces. Long Chen and Hua Wufang sealed their furnaces at the same time. Following the two of them, Fang Cheng and Che Li Huo sealed their furnaces less than an incense stick's time later. Sealing the furnaces represented the powders had all been merged, and it was time to truly refine the mixture into pills. An hour later, there were over a hundred people who had also sealed their furnaces. But during this time, there were also quite a few people that had no choice but to leave. The fact that Long Chen and the others had already sealed their furnaces caused even more pressure for them, and many were unable to stay calm, which increased their odds of failure. Pill fragrance. Someone's completed the refinement. Everyone hastily looked toward the source of the fragrance. They saw a man who kept three long whiskers as facial hair. When he smelled this pill fragrance, he was filled with excitement and nervousness. He hadn't expected that he would be the first to finish. Long Chen looked at that person and shook his head ever so slightly. As for Hua Wufang, he was sneering in ridicule. 
Quite a few people sighed upon looking at that person. Bang. The furnace lid popped upon. And looking inside. The crowd sighed. Although it's high grade. It has no rings. Even the alchemist was dumbfounded. He had already been extremely careful. There had been very few flaws in his merger. How could it be that there wasn't even one ring? Ugh. Another fellow with no foundation. Sighed an elder. Senior. What's going on? The nine revolution life pill is different from other pills. You can't rush the formation of the pill. In fact, the slower you refine it, the better. It's the opposite of ordinary pills. For ordinary pills, you want to refine it as fast as possible to avoid its essence dissipating into the air. But the nine revolution life pill contains a birth life grass. When that grass is being refined, it absorbs a great deal of life energy from the air. Only by drawing that life energy into it will the nine revolution life pill truly have the power to save a life. As for this fellow, he clearly doesn't understand the true medicinal effects contained in this pill formula. He refined it according to normal means. So of course there was no way for him to refine it into a ringed pill. This furnace of pills is essentially garbage. Everyone couldn't help being surprised. They hadn't been aware that the nine revolution life pill contained such a secret. But they were more shocked by how abnormal this generation's pill emperor competition was. Not only did you need to be familiar with various medicinal ingredients, but you even needed to be familiar with all kinds of pill formula. For half of the people here, this was their first time even hearing about the Nine Revolution Life Pill. As for the mystery the old man had explained, over 99% of them had been unaware of it. It's no wonder Hua Wufang, Long San, and the others have simply kept a steady flame after sealing their furnaces. The most difficult point of the Nine Revolution Life Pill's refinement is to control the pill flame to its weakest level once the furnace has been sealed. But at the same time, you can't allow the pill liquid to congeal. This pill has harsh requirements for the control of the pill flame and spiritual strength. This is something that has little to do with the strength of the pill flame. Instead, it depends on control. If you aren't able to control it well enough, you won't be able to give the pill enough time to absorb the life energy in the end. Even if the pill forms, it won't have any rings. The fact that you need five rings to pass the elimination round is an extremely harsh requirement, sighed the elder. In other words, those who finish the pill refinement last will refine higher grade pills. Correct. While they had been talking, another two people had finished their refinements. But the result was just as the elder said. They had no rings. These two had no choice but to leave. As this had been their last set of medicinal ingredients. It had been extremely difficult for them to finish the refinement. But regretfully, there were no rings. Another person's finished. Ah, what a pity. There's only one ring. That was someone who had been listening to the crowd and weakened the strength of his flame. But unfortunately, it had already been too late. His late adjustment only caused one ring to appear. Following that, many more people also finished their refinements. But the results were the same. They were all eliminated. The highest grade was only three rings. There was no way around it. It wasn't that they hadn't wanted to refine it slower, but simply that they were unable to control the flame at the perfect temperature. If they went slightly too low, the pill would congeal. Such a lump wouldn't even be called a pill anymore. It not only had no effect, but it was also full of toxins. Heavens. Someone finally passed. Junior Masters Fang and Che are also finishing up. Amazing. They each have three five ring pills. This was the 14th hour. The sky had already darkened. But lanterns kept the surroundings bright as if it were still day. The remaining alchemists all opened their furnaces. But only 87 people had managed to meet the requirements to pass the elimination round. The failure rate had been 90%. Up until now, the one with the best result was Tuan Shiang Kiyo. She was the only one to have refined a six-ring pill. And she was filled with pride. However, the competition was still not over yet. Long San and Hua Wufang were still refining at a low temperature. Both of them were icily staring at the other. Their gazes filled with provocation. They were obviously competing. One hour. Two hours. Three hours. Their control over their pill flames was absolutely shocking. They continued all the way until the sky brightened once more. Time is about up. You should prepare to open your furnaces. Said the tower administrator. Pointing to the sand. These two fellows had been staring at each other for a full night. Two bangs rang out. Hua Wufang slowly opened his furnace. Causing startled cries to ring out from the crowd. Chapter 671 Another slap in the face translator. Born to be eight. Eight ring nine revolution life pill. Within Hua Wufang's furnace. There were nine pills. Three of them had five rings. And one of them had eight rings. Long San. 
I've refined an 8 ring 9 revolution life pill. What are you going to use to compete with me? Hua Wufang icily stared at Long Chen. Even after this long, you're still such an idiot. You really haven't grown at all, sneered Long Chen. But after saying that, his heart shook. His tongue had slipped just now, and he saw that Hua Wufang's expression had changed slightly. His tone and mannerisms just now had been the same as in the Jiuli secret realm. Long Chen waved his hand, opening the lid. Light blossomed. Nine. Nine. Nine rings. Nine ring nine revolution life pill. He really did manage to refine such a thing. Even the elder who had explained the secret behind the nine revolution life pill was shocked. Nine ring pills represented the peak of high grade pills. Many pill emperors might spend their whole lives without managing to refine a single one. Even for lower level fifth tier pills. Ha 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 ha. This Long San really is hardworking. Fang Mingyuan laughed heartily. Long San was a monster with endless potential. A month ago, he had been a complete amateur regarding high tier pills. But after just a month's grooming, he had risen to the point where even Fang Mingyuan was shocked. Even old pill demons like Fang Mingyuan and Che Gao Yang were not able to refine a nine ring pill at will. It would depend a great deal on luck. And that referred to just ordinary pills. Not one as difficult as the nine revolution life pill. Long San was an alchemy genius who was still an unpolished gem. Now that he had been groomed by the Fang family, he was finally releasing his light. And that light was both dazzling and blinding. Furthermore, this genius was unswervingly loyal to their Fang family and filled with hostility toward the Huo family. That was what delighted Fang Mingyuan the most. Ah, thanks old boss Huo. You let me win. Fang Mingyuan cupped his fists to Huo Changsheng. His expression was truly a petty one, but it made Huo Changsheng incredibly furious. With a wave of his sleeve, he left. Looking at the nine ring pill in Long Chen's furnace, Huo Wufang's face was incomparably ugly. He was also incredibly shocked. How had he done this? He had already brought out his full strength, but he had still lost. Although this was the elimination round and not the finals, it still made him extremely uneasy. This Long San is extremely smart. The reason he defeated Huo Wufang isn't because his alchemy arts are stronger than his, said the elder. Please explain, senior, begged the people around him. Look inside Long San's furnace. The other pills only have two rings and below. However, Huo Wufang's pills all have three rings and above, said the elder. Everyone hastily looked and saw those hints, and they came to a sudden comprehension. The elder continued. Long San wisely chose to use his powerful spiritual strength to concentrate the life energy into one of his pills. I don't know if you noticed, but six hours ago, he already reserved his spiritual strength. Although the fluctuations were extremely weak, it was still noticed by this old man. At that time, I thought he was intentionally weakening the flame to stall for more time. But now that I think about it, he should have already finished storing enough energy to create a nine ring pill, said the elder with a bitter smile. Everyone realized the truth. At that time, Long San had already essentially completed his refinement, but he had intentionally stalled until the end just to give Hua Wufang a slap in the face. This fellow was truly evil. However, to do so with his spiritual strength requires extremely precise control. Not only did he have to keep the flame at its weakest possible level, but he also had to split a portion of it to concentrate the life energy in the air into just one pill. That would require an exceedingly vast spiritual strength. The amount of spiritual strength this Long San has is truly shocking, sighed the elder. Although he had seen through Long Chen's technique, that was useless to him. This kind of technique was something no one else could learn from. Who else had such abnormal soul energy? HMPH. A little trick is all it was. Let's meet again at the finals. Snorted Hua Wufang icily before leaving. He. Goodbye. Don't bother seeing me out. Long Chen very amicably waved his hand at Hua Wufang. Blessing his luck inside. He had almost been exposed. But the nine ring pill had drawn all of Hua Wufang's attention. Causing him to forget his suspicions. Ha ha ha. Long San, nice work. Your face slaps are too wonderful. So this divine ability actually has its origins in all aspects of life. I understand. Laughed Fang Cheng as he came over with Che Li Huo. It should be said that it came from a burst of insight that stemmed from life. The main thing is that if others stick their heads out toward you, take such a graceful posture, and just wait for you forever, wouldn't you feel ashamed to not slap them? You have to at least give them this much face. Said Long Chen bashfully. Ha <laughs> ha. Profound. Truly profound. Laughed Fang Chang. At this time, the alchemists that the Fang and Che families had pulled to their side also came. 
They were truly elites worthy of the two of them spending so much time and effort to pull in. Only seven of them had been washed out this round, but some people were a bit ashamed. If it hadn't been for the previous people's failures, which had allowed them to hear other people's discussion, they would have also failed. Even they had only heard of the nine revolution life pill. As for the secret on how to raise the quality of it by slowly absorbing the life energy in the air, they had had no idea. The fact that they had passed was partly due to luck. There was no way around that. There were so many pills formulas, and no one knew which one would be picked for the competition. Just as their group was chatting, a certain person walked over, startling everyone. They hastily bowed. Greetings, Tower Administrator. The Tower Administrator nodded slightly and then turned to Long Chen. Your display today was not bad, but next time, remember to reserve yourself a bit. Yes, Tower Administrator. Long Chen could only nod. He knew the Tower Administrator was referring to his trouble with Huo Wufang. Next time is the finals, and a Tower Ancestor will personally be supervising it. According to what I know, that Tower Ancestor doesn't like trouble. Don't end up failing because you want to mess around, warned the Tower Administrator. Everyone was shocked. The finals weren't being supervised by the Tower Administrator, but by a Tower Ancestor? They were extremely grateful for this personal warning. Rather than saying he was warning them, it was more accurate to say that he was warning Long San. It seemed he looked very favorably upon him and didn't want him to be expelled. Many thanks for the reminder. We are incomparably grateful. The Tower Administrator nodded and left. Looking at his departing figure, Fang Cheng sighed. Even the Tower Administrator looks favorably upon you. Long San, you really are about to soar. It had to be known that the Tower Administrator represented Pill Valley. He could be so arrogant that he could completely ignore the three families. To have received a personal warning from him was truly an honor. Most likely, even if Long San failed, the Tower Administrator might bring him into Pill Valley. He cared deeply about his terrifying spiritual strength. The others were extremely envious, but it was not the same kind of envy as when they had first met. It was extremely curious. This thing called envy was something that only appeared when the two parties' strengths were similar. When one person rose to the point that the other could only look up to, there would be no envy. An ant wouldn't envy an elephant. A housefly wouldn't envy a kanpang. The reason was that the differences between the two were too big. Even if they wanted to be envious, they didn't have the power to be. The current Long Chen was like that. He. Good. Good. If I can get into Pill Valley. Then we can coordinate from outside and inside to cut down the Huo family. Then we can think of a way to bring the two of you into Pill Valley as well to play around. Wouldn't that be fun? Laughed Long Chen. If you have this kind of heart, then we're happy. But as for bringing us into Pill Valley, you should probably forget about it. We're aware of our own strength. Let's go celebrate. Although Long Chen's words had been a bit exaggerated, they still made Fang Chen and Che Li Huo feel extremely comfortable. Even though Long Chen already had hope of entering Pill Valley, he still placed their families in his heart. That was something rare. In this world, the least reliable thing was a person's heart. When people saw a new target, their hearts would change. But Long Chen's heart had been unswerving from start to finish. Their celebration this time lasted a full three days. Long Chen had truly become famous. He was a brilliant youngster who was soaring, his brilliance lighting up the sky. The news that Long San had used a Nine Ring Nine Revolution life pill to defa a Turing Huo Wufang was rapidly spread throughout the entire alchemy world by the Fang and Che families. The name Long San was something anyone with the slightest status would know. Even the various large sects received this news. When this news reached Xu Wuhan's ears, she couldn't help but sigh. When Long Chen does something, it always gets blown up into a huge matter. I really don't know what kind of ending he will cause. Huo family. Just accept your bad luck. You could have targeted anyone, but you targeted that fellow. After the three days had passed, Long Chen entered seclusion once more. He had to study the flame magical arts he had gained. Last time, he had simply memorized them in one go. But such magical arts were too profound and Long Chen found himself lost. There was still one month until the finals, so he finally had time to study them. However, he had only been studying for two days when Long Chen was pulled out by Fang Chen and Che Li Huo. They said that cultivating so all out like this wasn't a good thing, and he needed to relax. As a result, the two of them directly brought Long Chen in front of a majestic, lavish building. It was extremely large, and a dazzling slight from the distance. Adopt the building, written in bold strokes, were three words. House of pleasures. What the fuck? Big bros. Did you bring me to some low-grade brothel? 
Long Chen was dumbfounded. Chapter 672 House of Pleasures Translator Born to be a low-grade brothel? What an ugly way to put it. This place is extremely high class. So don't use such vulgar words to describe it. Others will laugh at you, said Fang Chen hastily. Then what is this place? Asked Long Chen. It's a place for emotions to connect with emotions. For flesh to connect with flesh. For liquid to connect with liquid, said Che Li Huo with a perverted expression. Long Chen had never expected that these two grand junior masters would do such things. He couldn't help being speechless. What was so high class about this place? Long San, this expression of yours is wrong. You know that we're all youngsters. We need to occasionally release our fire. That way we'll be able to relax. If we find women outside, we always have to have worries and it's extremely troublesome. But this place is much better. We spend money. They make money. Both sides are willing. And most importantly Che Li Huo suddenly whispered. Most importantly, in terms of technique, they are true experts. They can make you feel as though you've ascended to the heavens. We, alchemists, often play with fire. It's easy for that to cause our own fire to flare. Plus, the last few days have been extremely tense. We've already set things up for the others. Today, we especially set up a peerless beauty for you. It's said that she's still a virgin. What ghost are you trying to trick? Tell me, how is a virgin supposed to have any technique? Long Chen was speechless. Why would I trick you? She really is a virgin. She hasn't accepted any guests yet. So I won't say anything about her technique. But her beauty, that body. Just looking at it is enough to infatuate a person's soul. Long San, let me tell you, don't you dare try any nonsense with me. Your big bro spent a huge sum of money to set this up for you, warned Fang Chang. This newcomer was truly beautiful. She was the new top beauty of this place. The old top beauty had already been bought by the Huo family. However, the price for this newcomer's first time was truly beyond reason. Even Fang Cheng was incredibly pained by the price. If it hadn't been for enticing Long Chen, he wouldn't have been willing. Of course, it's also been a long time since we've vented. We've been too busy recently. We need to relax. This way, Brother San will also have a companion, encouraged Fang Cheng. Long Chen was speechless. He had Men Qi, Tang Wanner and Chu Yao. Which one of them wasn't as beautiful as a fairy? Why would he come to such a place to waste his money? But then looking at their happy and excited expressions, Long Chen could only thicken his skin and enter with them. His head was rapidly working at a way to extricate himself. Aya, big brother Fang Chang, you've come. I've missed you. As soon as they entered, a very well-rounded woman greeted them and intimately wrapped her arms around Fang Chang's elbow. Seeing Fang Chang exchange flirting glances with her, Long Chen immediately knew she was Fang Chang's friend. She should have long since received news of their coming and been waiting. The only thing that made Long Chen flabbergasted was that this woman's aura was extremely powerful. She was actually a Xi'anchen expert. What was going on? Someone actually cultivated so hard to reach the Xi'anchen realm just to come here? He, Sister Tao Hong, a day apart from you feels like three years. Your big brother has also missed you. Fang Chen was like a prodigal son, stealthily pinching her curves. Seeing him act that way, Long Chen felt that Fang Chang's words had been off. It should be. A day without sex is like parting for three years. Tao Hong, hurry and call out Lady Shu Hua for Junior Master Che. And don't forget to set up a beautiful lady for this brother of mine. Let's eat first. Lady Shu Hua, as in a fickle woman. One, as expected, every profession had its own elites. Long Chen had at least gained experience into the world. Following Fang Chen upstairs, he saw an extremely expansive hall, and it was not a private room. Seeing Long Chen's shock, Che Li Huo laughed. He, brother, now still isn't time for that. The ladies are still preparing themselves. For now, let's just eat, drink, and enjoy the scenery. The three of them found seats near a window. They saw a beautiful landscape of lakes and mountains. The scenery was extremely pleasant. Long Chen narrowed his eyes slightly. He saw a certain scene that was familiar. He suddenly recalled that he had also been able to see the scenery from Xiao Kui's home. But now the view was different. Sweeping his gaze around. He saw Xiao Kui's old home. However, it had been transformed into a new manor. In fact, a large swath of territory around it had been rebuilt with beautiful and elegant pavilions. Brother Fang, what's going on over there? Long Chen pointed. That place? Have you forgotten? That's where we first met each other. That bastard Huo Wufang still decided to seize that place and built a massive bastard nest for himself to take a concubine, said Fang Chang. He wants to take a concubine? 
And with this much ceremony, asked Long Chen, there has to be at least this much ceremony. The concubine he's marrying is a genius from an ancient family. It seems to be someone from Biluo Mountains who a family. Apparently, they have some status, but I'm not sure about the details, said Fang Chang. Biluo Mountains who a family? Wasn't that who a Biluo's family? Suddenly thinking of a possibility, killing intent surfaced within his eyes. What is it Long San? Asked Fang Chen upon seeing the change in him. Big Bros, you once mentioned Long Chen. Later I asked around and I heard that Huo Wufang suffered a great deal because of this person. Of course, he really was a vicious person. Unfortunately, he didn't just kill Huo Wufang, or we'd have much more peace, said Che Li Huo. Long Chen nodded. I've heard a bit about what happened in the Jiuli secret realm. I heard that someone called Huo Biluo helped Long Chen to face the righteous and corrupt paths, which was clearly going against Huo Wufang. Now, it's said that Long Chen has already fallen. Huo Wufang has only just recovered, but he's gone to Biluo Mountains Hua family to take a concubine. Do you think? Fang Chen slapped himself in the leg. That's right. Now that you mention it, I heard that the Huo family seems to have run over to the Hua family several times. Now I understand. This Huo Wufang is definitely trying to release his anger on other people. Long Chen's dead and the others are being protected by the Zhuanshan Dao sect they can't spread their hands that far. Right now. The only one they can target is Hua Biluo. As long as they apply some pressure on the Hua family, then with an ancient family's character, they probably wouldn't offend the ones in charge of selling pills for the pill tower, especially not for some chosen level disciple. That bastard's taking Hua Biluo as a concubine just to torment her. What an absolutely despicable man. Unable to do anything to Long Chen, he actually released his fury on his friends. Such idiots are the most contemptuous, Che Li Huo suddenly said. I remember now, in the Jiuli secret realm, Hua Wufang actually used the threat of taking her as a concubine, but Hua Biluo still took action, so he's getting revenge. Long Chen smiled slightly, but that smile contained a touch of iciness. Normally, when people targeted Long Chen, there was still room for discussion, but if they dared to target the people by his side, that would be enmity of no rest until death. Hua Wufang, if I don't play you to death this time, then I won't be Long Chen. At this time, a group of three women, including Tao Hong, walked over. Fang Chen and Che Li Huo were their old clients, and they naturally didn't want to lose their business. One of them walked over and sat beside Long Chen, gently saying, Master Long San, let me pour you some wine. This woman was not bad, and she was very cute. Even if she was acting, the fact that she could bring her acting to this level was definitely not easy. How old are you? Long Chen smiled. In any case, the money had been spent. Teasing her would be fine. And then the money wouldn't be wasted. 18. She answered bashfully. Really? How coincidental. I'm also 18. Master Long. You really are a tease. She cried bashfully. Her face red. Profound. Truly profound. This acting ability has also reached a divine level. For her acting skills to be so profound. Then her bed skills. It's no wonder Fang Cheng and Che Li Huo would rather come here than take a concubine. People with status like them would normally have to find appropriate women with their own status to marry. For them, their women would have to be alchemists with pure bloodlines. That was to have the finest offspring possible. It was forbidden for them to copulate with just any beautiful woman they met. If those women weren't alchemists, then their offspring's talent would be extremely lacking, and it would affect the family traditions. If they really did end up having a child, it would normally be directly executed. This was extremely harsh. Although Fang Cheng and Che Li Huo were noble heirs, they weren't bad people. They would rather come here than take concubines like that. That made Long Chen have a favorable opinion of them. The three of them ate and drank with the three women accompanying them. Even after several drinks had entered her stomach, that woman's acting was still so perfect. A naughty smile suddenly appeared on Long Chen's face. They really thought he was inexperienced. The number of men this woman had sated was even greater than the members of his legion. By acting as if she had such a pure and innocent heart, she was looking down on him. Ladies Henson, can I ask you a personal question? After talking this long, Long Chen had finally learned her name. Long Chen's face already had a constant naughty feel to it. Now that he smiled, it seemed naughtier than ever. Even the experienced Henson felt some nervousness. She bashfully said, Please ask, Master Long, but don't make it too embarrassing for me. Long Chen waved his hand. How could I do something like that? I, Long San, am a pure person. I just want to ask, 
Do you know how to use a carrot? Fang Cheng and Che Li Huo were dumbfounded. They had definitely been tricked. They had thought Long San was a good person, but now they realized he was practically a brute. A lost expression appeared on Zhen Zhen's face. I don't. What about a cucumber? No. What about an eggplant? No. What about a steamed bun? Even a steamed bun can be used. As soon as she said this, Zhen Zhen tightly covered her mouth. But it was too late. Her bashfulness became a rage. And she hit Long Chen. Master Long, you really are evil. Che Li Huo and Fang Chen were already rolling on the floor in laughter. Even Tao Hong and Chu Huo were laughing. Huge waves appearing on their chests. Such a thing can make you laugh so hard? Be careful of your laughter turning to sorrow. Just as Long Chen and the others were laughing, an ear-piercing voice rang out. Chapter 673 Encountering the Corrupt Path Translator Born to be Long Chen turned and saw five people walk in. What startled Long Chen was that these people were all wearing red robes. That red was the kind of red that looked like blood. An image of a fierce fiend was embroidered on their chests. Corrupt Path Long Chen immediately recalled that this was Pilyang Prefecture, and it was considered neutral territory. As long as they didn't intentionally cause trouble for the other, the righteous and corrupt paths wouldn't fight here. But the curious thing was that out of these five people, two of them had the aura of the heavenly deos around them. There were actually two celestials. The words just now had come from one of those celestials. He was clearly trying to find trouble for the three of them, without even thinking. It was obvious these people were participating in the ceremony of Huo Wufang marrying his concubine. This grand ceremony was something the Huo family was holding to tell people it was time to bring gifts. As for these people, considering how arrogant they were acting, they definitely had received the Huo family's support and had intentionally come here to cause trouble for them. Although the Fang and Che families were part of the Pill Tower, the selling of pills was still controlled by the Huo family. Their two families had no direct contact with the buyers, which was why these corrupt experts dared to do this. To put it simply, they were simply currying favor with the Huo family. Fang Chen and Che Li Huo were just about to furiously retort when Long Chen stood up with a faint smile and walked over. Who was it that just farted? Asked Long Chen, looking as if someone needed a spanking. One of the celestials glanced at Long Chen and disdainfully said, Who do you think you are? Fuck off before he could say more. Long Chen's hand viciously slapped across his face. This time Long Chen hadn't held back at all. These people weren't alchemists. So their physical bodies were strong enough that he didn't have any misjivings. Boom. An explosive sound shook everyone's eardrums. It was something possible to hear within several miles. Let alone the fact that he hadn't had any defenses up. Even if he had guarded. At such a distance. He still wouldn't have been able to dodge. He was like a shooting star piercing through the window and flying into the distance. Finally, the Celestial ended up flying dozens of miles away, and he crashed into Huo Wufang's newly constructed manor. The collision directly destroyed the entire building. Che Li Huo and Fang Chen were shocked. Just what kind of monster was Long San? If he possessed such terrifying strength, was he even an alchemist? Yu the other Celestial was the first to recover from his shock, and he smashed his fist at Long Chen. But just as he punched, Long Chen had already slapped him across the face. He staggered back, and his punch ended up striking one of his own people. That person let out a scream as his bones broke. The Celestial hadn't even realized what had happened when Long Chen once more slapped him. This time he hit him in the other direction and with greater power. He spun through the air. He had barely stabilized himself when he saw a sinister face winking at him. He was horrified. Having been slapped twice, he knew he had run into an expert. He was just about to retreat to widen the distance before attacking. Where do you think you're going? Get back here. He had only just moved when he felt two hands grab his hair. Long Chen pulled, at the same time raising his knee, smashing it against the corrupt celestial's high and lofty nose. The sound of bones breaking rang out throughout the hall. Che Li Huo and Fang Chen both winced. They all sympathized with this pain. The nose was an extremely weak spot. It was where countless nerves connected. After this attack, the Celestial's face had caved in. Fuck. 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 Who let you be a dog? With each word, Long Chen would punctuate it by slamming his knee into the Celestial's nose again. The Celestial's blood, snot, and tears were flowing down. Get lost. With a furious roar, he struggled free. But as a result, because of Long Chen's hold on his hair, a large swath of his scalp was torn off. He endured the pain to escape. His head was covered with blood and he was just about to attack when a silent kick struck him in the crotch. For a moment, everyone was silent, 
The only sound was the sound of balls breaking. That sound resounded heavily through the air. Fang Cheng and Che Li Huo involuntarily clenched their legs, trying to not let their balls feel distressed. The celestial held his lower parts. He slowly knelt on the ground and then collapsed. This attack had hit his most vital part, and he was in so much pain that he hovered between life and death. Suddenly, Long Chen directly slapped the two other corrupt experts who were still stunned by the scene before them. He sent them flying on the same path as the first celestial, and they smashed into Hua Wufang's newly destroyed manor. As for the final corrupt member who had been struck half dead by the first celestial accidentally, Long Chen was too lazy to bother him. He arrived in front of the unconscious celestial and kicked him a few times. A-H-H. The unconscious celestial immediately let out miserable shrieks, but a kick to his jaw cut off that sound. Long Chen dragged that person like a dead dog, dropping him in front of the table and then using him as a chair. But this chair was a bit uneven, so he pushed down a bit. This push caused the celestial's entire body to twitch, and froth came out of his mouth. Seeing this scene, the three women were pale as paper, unable to make a sound. They were also Xi'anchen experts. Although they were unable to sense this person's heavenly Deo energy, they sensed a terrifying pressure from him. But this terrifying figure had been beaten into a dead dog-like state by Long Chen, and was then used as a chair. They had never seen such a terrifying fiend. Brother Fang. Brother Che. Let's continue drinking. Long Chen raised his cup toward the two stupefied fellows. Only now did they recover from their shock and drink with him. Che Li Huo asked. Long San. How are you so strong? He. I won't hide anything from my two big brothers. I. Long San. Have had a life full of trouble and misfortune. My road was full of bombs. And I'm always surrounded by all kinds of broods. If I didn't kill them. They would kill me. I also had no one to help me. So if I wanted to live. I had to make myself more vicious, and so I trained a body of brute strength. To tell the truth, anyone who sees me fight would never believe that I know alchemy, laughed Long Chen. Fang Chen and Che Li Huo were speechless. That last statement was too true. Even having personally seen him refine pills, they could barely believe he was an alchemist now. Fang Chen said, Long San, you really are a monster. You know alchemy, and you know martial arts. Dual martial pill cultivation is a path of no return but you have actually reached this level. That really is amazing. However, this fellow is a celestial. The only reason you managed to get an advantage over him was because he didn't have time to use the cry of the heavenly deos. In the future, you have to be careful. Who cares if he is a celestial? As long as it's someone Hua Wufang sent to target you two big bras, I'll go all out against them. Fuck. If they want to bully you, they'll have to do it over my corpse. Long Chen patted himself on the chest. Che Li Huo and Fang Chen were incredibly moved, their eyes almost filling up with tears. This Long San was so loyal. You bastard Long San. Hand him over. Suddenly, a furious roar came from outside. They looked outside to see Huo Wufang furiously glaring at them. As expected, these people were sent by you as a provocation. Your person is in my hands. So if you want him, come fight over him. After saying that, Long Chen pulled the celestial out from under him, carrying him by his foot. He shook him outside the window a few times. The celestial was completely unconscious and simply dangled like a corpse. The other celestial that Long Chen had sent flying was standing beside Hua Wufang. Seeing this, he wanted to immediately charge up and tear Long Chen to pieces. Hey, little fellow, what are you staring at me for? You still refuse to obey, right? Raged Long Chen. He raised the unconscious celestial out of the window and slapped him in the face a dozen times, causing his face to swell. He then disdainfully pointed at the celestial on the ground. Little fellow, do you want to keep looking at me like that? The celestial had practically gone insane from rage. He was just about to charge forward when Hua Wufang stopped him. This isn't a good place to fight. It's too small, and Long San's body is extremely powerful. If you don't use your full strength, you won't be able to subdue him. Furthermore, he also has Che Li Huo and Fang Chen beside him, and you can't injure them. We can't rush this matter recklessly. After all, this was the Treasure Tower region. It was filled with buildings and people. If they fought here, there would be many casualties. The Pill Emperor competition was currently being held. And if the higher-ups were to learn of this, they would all be doomed. Long San, what do you want to release him? Could it be that you're a petty little person who only knows how to threaten others to raise your status? If that's the case, then I really will have to look down on you, said Hua Wufang. His answer was 16 slaps in the face. Of course, 
The face that was being slapped was the unconscious celestial. His face once more swelled, looking like a balloon that might burst at any moment. Idiot. Do you think I'm someone scared by insults? Why don't you keep trying such a childish move? Retorted Long Chen disdainfully. Brother, if this continues, senior apprentice brother Yaoki will be killed, said the celestial. Shut up. Aren't I trying to think of something right now? This Long San is someone unmoved by force or persuasion, raged Huo Wu Fang. He hated when others pushed him and already had a stomach full of fury. He had wanted them to bully Long San, perhaps by humiliating him or beating him. That would have been a blow to the Fang and Che family's morale. But as a result, this matter had turned to its current state. He was already incredibly furious. Long San, what do you want? shouted Huo Wu Fang. I can release him if you want. I just want one thing. If you can bring it out, I'll immediately release him. A certain thought popped into Long Chen's head. Chapter 674 Same race as an old friend translator. Born to be I want a stock of heavenly star dragon saliva grass. As long as you can take that out, I'll immediately release this person, said Long Chen. In the medicinal ingredient repository, Long Chen had clearly seen a spot for the heavenly star dragon saliva grass, but that space had been empty. It was later when he asked around that he learned the pill tower had had this ingredient half a year ago, but it had been taken away by the Huo family. It was unknown whether or not the Huo family still had any left, but Long Chen wanted to try it. Fine, I'll get someone to bring it immediately. Huo Wufang took out a badge and whispered a few things to one of his subordinates. That person immediately rushed off. Fuck, the Huo family really is intolerable. Last time, they took all ten stalks of the Heavenly Star Dragon saliva grass with the excuse that another pill tower urgently needed it. But it was all a lie. Not only do they bribe others with pills, but they even pull tricks with medicinal ingredients. If it wasn't for Long San, we still wouldn't know we had been deceived. Raged Che Li Huo. He suddenly recalled that the Huo family would often find excuses to take ingredients from the storage house. The Che family was only in charge of keeping track, and everything always had to be accounted for. But he hadn't expected the Huo family would actually dare do something like this. Now Long Chen had exposed them. These fellows had definitely colluded with the ones in charge of accounting, or they wouldn't dare to be so obviously corrupt. Long San, why would you want a heavenly star dragon saliva grass? Although it's precious. Pill Valley will send us a bit to make up for what we used. Why didn't you ask for something else? Their Huo family has the money, said Che Li Huo. He had no idea that this heavenly star dragon saliva grass was more precious than anything else to Long Chen. He wouldn't exchange it for any other treasure. I just made something up. I figured that if it wasn't in the medicinal ingredient repository, they wouldn't have it either. I was trying to make things hard on them. Who would have thought that they actually had it? And now that I've already said it, I can't just change my demands, or that would make me lose face, explained Long Chen perfectly. True, true, TCH, we really let this bastard off easy, said Fang Chen hatefully. He was unhappy at not being able to give Huo Wufang a vicious blow this time. Less than an incense stick's worth of time later, the person Huo Wufang had sent had returned. There was a jade case in his hand with the width of a palm and two feet long. Huo Wufang directly threw the case to Long Chen. You have your demand. Now release him. Long Chen didn't need to open the case. With just his divine sense, he could see something similar to a sword lily, and there were seven drop-like fruits on it. This was definitely the heavenly star dragon saliva grass. Even with his calm, having obtained this, his heart involuntarily pounded. His ultimate goal in coming to the pill tower had been achieved. With this, he could condense the Enlightenment Palace star. With four stars, who would be able to fight against him? Don't worry. I'm not someone untrustworthy. Long Chen brought the heavenly star dragon saliva grass into the primal chaos space and then tossed the celestial out. The corrupt experts hastily went to receive him, and they gave him a healing pill. Ah, as soon as that person woke up, he let out a heaven-shaking roar and a terrifying pressure erupted. Senior apprentice brother Yaoki, calm down. Now isn't the time to fight. One of the corrupt experts hastily held him back. Long San, just wait. I will sooner or later tear your corpse into 10,000 pieces. The celestial pointed at Long Chen, his eyes almost spitting flames. If you have good stuff next time as well, then come and find me at any time. Long Chen waved the empty case out of the window amicably. Huo Wufang's expression sank. This time, his plan had been ruined. These people were his guests, and he couldn't just remain unconcerned about them. Once Huo Wufang and the others left, 
Long San, Fang Chang, and Che Li Huo couldn't help but laugh. Huo Wufang had wanted to give Long Chen a blow, but as a result, he had left with a vicious slap on his face, that had been all too satisfying. After drinking for a while longer, lanterns had to be lit. Fang Chen pulled away Tao Hong, brother Long San, about that, he, I won't be accompanying you, in a bit, someone will come to bring you to see your partner, your big bro won't disturb your fun, as I'm afraid I'll regret it if I see it, he, if I started to fight with you, that would damage our relationship, having repeatedly refined pills, I have a stomach full of fire right now, for cultivation, for the great cause of alchemy, for upholding the inheritance of the pill tower, I'm going to release some of my fire now, after some righteous words, Fang Chen pulled away Tao Hong, as for Che Li Huo, he just directly pulled away the girl whose name was something fickle, TCH, screw Che Li Huo, damn Fang Chen, what an appropriate phrase, Long Chen cursed inside, the woman accompanying Long Chen left, and then two prime maidens came to invite Long Chen to another room, he could only follow them, although he had no intention of doing this, it wasn't that he looked down on them. Long Chen had never been against this kind of thing anyway. After all, gambling houses and brothels were the oldest businesses since mankind existed. The former embodied humanity's greed, and the latter embodied humanity's lust. No matter what your opinion was, visiting a prostitute could at least relieve a person of their lust, and it didn't harm anyone. It was much better than those experts who liked to go around bullying the weak. So Long Chen actually admired Fang Chen and Che Li Huo for this. The two of them rarely used their status to bully others. On the highest floor of the House of Pleasures, there was a grand and luxurious room. This room was large and decorated very comfortably. The main color was pink, making the atmosphere charming and gentle. Long Chen sat on a chair in this room, thinking of how he should explain to that woman that he was an upright gentleman. If he hadn't changed his face, then perhaps he really could convince her of that but his current face didn't seem the slightest bit related to an upright gentleman. This face made it seem more like something else would be up. Just as Long Chen was thinking, a beautiful maiden walked into the room. She was tall, almost reaching Long Chen's nose. Her figure was both lithe and curvaceous. There really was nothing to complain about in terms of her body. Then he looked at her face, and she was truly as beautiful as a crescent moon. Her skin was like jade, while her lips were purplish red. Her black hair fell to her waist. Not only was she beautiful, but there was something else about her that drew people in. It was like there was a charm that came from within her that could draw in a person's soul, making it so that a person couldn't possibly resist. She slowly walked over to Long Chen and reached out an arm, hooking it around Long Chen's neck. Her body pressed into Long Chen's, and he could even smell an intoxicating scent from her. Long Chen didn't have the slightest panic toward this sudden change. On the contrary, he said with a faint smile. You are doing something very dangerous. The beautiful woman was surprised, but she quickly calmed down and icily said, With your death imminent, you can still smile. Long Chen shook his head. You aren't able to kill me. If you didn't have a familiar aura on your body, you'd already be a corpse now. Bang. Suddenly, Long Chen's hand reached toward the woman's neck. She was startled and increased her force, wanting to crush Long Chen's neck. But she was shocked to find that Long Chen's neck was incomparably sturdy. It was like a dragon's body, and she was unable to shake him. By the time she realized this, Long Chen had already latched his hand onto her neck. At the same time, a fierce energy charged into her body, and she hastily circulated her greatest strength to resist. Suddenly, Long Chen released his grip, allowing the woman to escape. She was dumbfounded. Just now, she had clearly felt Long Chen's terrifying power. As long as he had desired it, her entire body would have exploded but he had released her, as expected, you really are from the same race as her, looking at the mark on the woman's head, a trace of warmth surfaced in Long Chen's eyes, just now, Long Chen's energy had provoked the woman into releasing her full strength, that was an instinctual release upon being invaded by foreign energy, in that instant, Long Chen had seen a faint mark appear on her forehead, that was the devil character, it was the same mark as the one that had appeared on Yu Ziaokian's forehead back then, Yu Ziaokian's practically flawless face once more surfaced in Long Chen's mind. There was also that enchanting charm of hers that could not be refused. Who are you? The woman's expression changed completely. There's no need to be nervous. I'm not your enemy. I want to ask. Do you know Yu Ziaokian? Asked Long Chen. How? How do you know the sacred daughter's name? She asked with shock. Sacred daughter? 
It's not good to carelessly raise a person's status with such a title. In my eyes, she was just a girl with no battle experience, laughed Long Chen. Could it be, you're Long Chen? But the sacred daughter released images of Long Chen, and he doesn't look like you. The woman shook her head vigilantly. You know me. Long Chen was a bit surprised. Hesitating for a moment, he gently brushed his hand over his face, returning to his original appearance. How about now? The woman's eyes popped up, and she suddenly cried with delight. You're Long Chen. You're really Long Chen. About before. I'm sorry. It's fine. In truth, I recognized your status as soon as you walked in. Long Chen smiled. How is that possible? I planned for a long time to get in here, and I didn't leave any clues, she said. The reason I knew had nothing to do with that. The first thing is that the feeling I get from you is similar to you Ziaokian, but just that wasn't enough for me to be sure. The reason I was certain was because of that pendant on your neck. Long Chen pointed to her pendant. This pendant should have a devil core sealed inside it. Back then, you Ziaokian and I got so many of them that I'm already completely familiar with their aura. So with those two points, I knew you were from the same race as her. I'm very curious. If you're viewed as villains by the entire world, why would you appear here? A helpless expression suddenly appeared on the woman's face, and she actually knelt, begging, Master Long, please help the sacred daughter. Chapter 675 News of Yu Ziaokian Translator Born to be Long Chen hastily pulled her up. What happened with Ziaokian? The sacred daughter received a backlash while cultivating the heavenly devil heart grand technique. Her soul was damaged and she needs a precious medicine known as the Heaven Nether World Soul Replenishment Roots. But our skyscraping world doesn't have that medicine. Furthermore, even in the outside world, this kind of medicine has almost gone extinct. The Sacred Daughter's situation is something the entire race is helpless about. We, we, she suddenly paused. It was Long Chen who continued. You are all viewed as enemies of the world and unable to walk freely. You don't dare publicly search for it. As Long Chen's cultivation base increased, he had gradually managed to come into contact with some ancient tomes. It was said that there was an extremely powerful race in this world that was called the original devil race. They were a bunch of fiends intended to overturn the entire world and exterminate all life. But in the ancient era, they were defeated by humans experts and almost exterminated. However, some dregs continued to live in the cracks of this world. They were viewed as enemies of the entire world. When he read this, Long Chen had snorted disdainfully. Intended to overturn the world? It would have been best if they had succeeded. He didn't like this idiot world the slightest bit. So even after knowing you Ziaokian came from the devil race, his feelings toward her hadn't changed in the slightest. He also felt more favorable toward her race. The woman was relieved to see Long Chen was still going to help despite knowing about the original devil race. That's not all. Our original devil race is cursed by this world. Here we will be exterminated by heavenly tribulation. If we want to come here, we have to use devil cores and refine them into special pendants that can conceal our aura from the heavenly deos. Last time, the sacred daughter secretly slipped away to gain experience, and she brought back tens of thousands of those cores. With these cores, our original devil race can enter this world. As long as we don't release our full strength, which would reveal the mark on our foreheads, people won't be able to recognize us. This time, Many of us have been sent out to search for the Heaven Nether World Soul Replenishment Roots, but Devil Cores can only conceal the auras of Xi'anshan experts and below. It does not affect Sea Expansion experts. Without the support of those stronger experts, there's no way we can take such medicine by force. That's why I came up with the plan to get rid of the woman that was living here and take her place. I pretended to be her, hoping that I could subdue one of the three great families' junior masters. Also that I can obtain the Heaven Nether World Soul Replenishing Roots. Her face suddenly began to change. She didn't move, but she transformed into a completely different person. One who was even more beautiful and moving. This is our race's innate skill. We can change our appearance at will. She explained upon seeing Long Chen's shock. Are all your devil races women so beautiful? Asked Long Chen. He, haven't you already seen the most beautiful one? The sacred daughter is publicly acclaimed as our devil race's number one beauty. She laughed. Long Chen nodded. Yu Ziaokian's face had truly reached a flawless level. That was especially true of her charm which seemed to exude from deep within her. It was a beauty that could not be refused. One that could steal away a person's soul. There's no need for you to go looking for the heaven nether world soul replenishing roots. I have some here, said Long Chen. That was a sixth tier medicinal ingredient, and with Long Chen's character. 
How could he have not have prepared it? Really? Excellent. Then the sacred daughter won't have to suffer the pain of her soul being devoured anymore, cried the woman. Tears streamed out of her eyes. Does your devil race have any alchemists that can refine the medicine for you? No. We are cursed by the world and only possess our core energy. None of the elemental energy in the world can be used by us. This world really must be sick. Long Chen shook his head, feeling sympathy for them. Yu Ziaokian's entire race was cursed. But Long Chen wasn't cursed. And yet the heavenly Deos always wanted his life. If the heaven nether world soul replenishing roots were to be consumed on their own, they wouldn't have that great of an effect and would act very slowly. I'll refine a few medicinal pills that will cure Ziaokian for you to bring back. Oh, and another thing. If you trust me, let me examine your body, said Long Chen. She blushed but she nodded. Of course I trust senior apprentice brother Long Chen. Xiao Dai will listen to your instructions. Hey, wait. I don't need you to take off your clothes for the examination. Just let my spiritual yuan circulate through your body for a moment. Long Chen hastily waved his hand. He placed his arm on her back. His spiritual yuan flowed into her. He had to learn more about the devil race's cultivation method to be able to help Yu Ziaokian better. As he examined her body, Long Chen was shocked to find that there was a strange energy in Xiao Dai's danshan. This was an energy Long Chen had never seen before. It was not spiritual ki, and it was not spiritual yuan. It was completely different from any other energy in this world. That is our core energy. It's completely different from the energy that you cultivate, explained Xiao Dai. Long Chen nodded, and going through her body structure, he gained a fundamental understanding of her spiritual fluctuation. Other than that core energy being different, everything else was similar to a human. There would be no problem consuming a medicinal pill. You should rest and take care of yourself for the next few days. I'll add a few ingredients to refine the heavenly star soul replenishing pill and also refine a few other pills for you to bring to you Ziaokian. After saying that, Long Chen directly returned to the Fang family. Entering a private room, he locked the door and hastily took out the ingredients for the heavenly star soul replenishing pill. This was a sixth tier pill, and its difficulty was middling for its tier. It was still a bit difficult for the current Long Chen to refine it, but that was fine. With the assistance of an earth flame, it was no problem. Currently, Huo Long was looking after a group of beast flames and rapidly growing. Now that Long Chen summoned it to refine pills, it was like adding wings to a tiger. Because Long Chen's mind was connected to Huo Long's, their cooperation was seamless. Bang. Less than six hours later, a furnace of heavenly star soul replenishing pills was completed. Other than one eight ring pill, the rest all had nine rings. How regretful. The medicinal ingredients don't possess enough spirituality. Or with Huo Long's strength, I could even refine top grade pills. Sighed Long Chen. With Huo Long's assistance, Long Chen's refinement had been extremely relaxed and easy. Most importantly, Huo Long possessed its own spirit. The second time, Long Chen didn't even need to control it. Huo Long was able to refine on its own, causing Long Chen to be incomparably excited. Huo Long, try it by yourself. Long Chen directly stopped doing anything at all. Huo Long turned into a three meter long flame dragon and wrapped around the pill furnace. The flame control was exactly the same as when he had controlled it. Bang. When the furnace lid popped open, Long Chen saw that they all had seven rings. Although it wasn't the same level as when he had refined them personally, this was already shocking enough. Huo Long, you really are amazing. Long Chen laughed. Having obtained this praise, Huo Long excitedly wrapped around Long Chen's body. Haha, <laughs> you can actually control the temperature on your own. In the future, you can help me refine pills when you're bored. Long Chen gently rubbed Huo Long's head, filled with delight. Now he had a truly reliable helper. Help me refine pills in the primal chaos space. I have some other things I have to do. Novaloon.com Long Chen placed Huo Long, the pill furnace, and the medicinal ingredients into the primal chaos space. Now he would have a steady supply of pills even without doing anything. Xiao Dai said that Yu Ziaokian has also reached the late Xianchen realm. I should refine her a few blood fiend sea expansion pills. Long Chen suddenly took out a fist-sized, blood-colored fruit. That was the blood fiend vermilion fruit but it was not the same fruit that he had obtained in the chaos region. That one had been turned into a seed and given birth to a large tree filled with such fruits. It went without saying that the primal chaos space was too heaven-defying. No matter what seed it was, no matter what kind of living environment the plant needed, it would grow rapidly. Currently, there were seven medicinal fields near the center of the primal chaos space. 
Those corresponded to first tier to seventh tier ingredients. Although first tier ingredients weren't very useful, there were some higher tier medicinal pills that required the assistance of some low tier ingredients to neutralize certain medicinal properties. An incense sticks worth of time later, there were now over a hundred fresh loy picked medicinal ingredients around Long Chen. Such fresh ingredients contained the densest energy. Long Chen called Huo Long out of the primal chaos space to refine these ingredients to powder, and then began refining the Blood Fiend Sea expansion pill. This was also a sixth tier pill, but it was the peak of mid sixth tier pill. It was extremely difficult, even with Long Chen's abilities. He failed at the final moments of the refinement in his first try, but he didn't get discouraged. He had as many ingredients as he needed, without even taking a break. He tried again. That was the confidence that came with being a pro. The second time, he succeeded but it was not ideal. Out of nine pills, two of them were trash, three had no rings, and out of the remaining four, the best one only had three rings. It really is worthy of being the peak of mid-sixth tier pills. This level of difficulty is truly abnormal, muttered Long Chen before continuing to practice his refinement. After seven tries, he finally refined a nine-ring heavenly star soul replenishment pill. This nine-ring pill was for Yu Ziaokian, and the other fifty-something pills would be given to Xiao Dai for others. As for his own people, there was no rush. Long Chen's spiritual strength grew with his cultivation base, and the stronger his spiritual strength, the higher quality the pills he could refine. Furthermore, the Dragonblood Legion was still at the early Xi'anchen realm, and there was still quite a bit of time before they attacked the Sea Expansion realm. After tidying up, Long Chen left the room. Only then did he realize he had spent two days refining pills. It was already noon on the third day. He hastily rushed toward the House of Pleasures, but he had only just left his residence when he saw a gloomy-faced Fang Cheng and Che Li Huo. Fang Cheng said, Long San, something's happened. Chapter 676 Blaze Eruption Art Translator Born to be what happened. Three days ago, we set you up with their top beauty, but as a result, a corrupt celestial asked for her to accompany him in a drink today. However, she refused. Those bastards actually forcibly snatched her away. They even said that if you, Long San, want your woman, you have to take a trip to the west of the city, said Che Li Huo through clenched teeth. When they had received this news, they had immediately rushed to the House of Pleasures, but they had still been too late. They didn't care about that woman, but she had had relations with Long San, and so she could count as Long San's woman. If she had willingly gone to accompany them, then they wouldn't have said anything, but to forcibly take her away was a slap in Long San's face. They had received this news from their own intimate partners, but by the time they had gotten there, she had already been taken away. That was why they had now come here to find Long San. It was obviously done by that celestial idiot from the other day. Let's go. If I let him live to see tomorrow's son, I won't be surnamed Long. Long Chen immediately rushed off. Long San, calm down. This is clearly a trap. Fang Cheng hastily caught up. Any traps are useless in front of absolute strength. You two only have to cheer for me. I'll handle it. Long Chen was filled with killing intent. Xiao Dai was playing the role of an ordinary Xi'anchen woman. In front of a powerful celestial, she had no chance. If she really resisted, it would expose her racial mark. Then it would be extremely troublesome. Death would become something exceedingly luxurious. Even if you used your butt to think. It would be obvious that this was something Huo Wufang had controlled from behind the scenes. As expected, the scene might change, but people didn't. Long Chen had let him off with his life in the Jiuli secret realm. He had only been recovered for such a short time, but he had once more placed his sights on his people. Good, very good. Seeing Long San had his own cards up his sleeve, Fang Chen didn't stop him. After all, they were all men, and they could understand his emotions. He summoned a magical beast and the three of them rushed off. To the west of Pilyang City, there was a wilderness. A bit further from that was a gully between two mountains. Thousands of experts had gathered there, watching a group of people from a distance. That group of people was only comprised of just over ten people, but their leader was Huo Wufang. Huo Wufang was sitting, and there was a bed not far from him. On that bed was a beautiful woman who had been tightly bound. It was a pale-faced Xiao Dai. A man from the corrupt path was standing in front of the bed looking avariciously at Xiao Dai. This was the celestial that Long Chen had half killed in the House of Pleasures back then. He sinisterly laughed. Long San's woman? He, that short-lived brat has such luck with women. Today, I'll play with his woman in front of everyone. Haha <laughs> suddenly, 
The sky darkened as a huge flying magical beast appeared in the sky. At the same time, an icy voice rang out. You dare place your sights on my long sands. Woman? Good. In a bit. I want to see just how big your guts are. Long Chen jumped off the magical beast. Seeing how Xiao Dai was bound to the bed, his blood began to boil. His arrival caused startled cries amongst the distant spectators. Their kidnapping of Xiao Dai from the House of Pleasures had caused a ruckus that made it so that many people were aware of it. They all knew this matter was not so simple. Huo Wufang smiled coldly upon seeing Long Chen. Everything was under his control. Xiao Dai was filled with terror, but she didn't dare to struggle. With her strength, there was no way for her to face a celestial. All fighting would do was expose her status. She wasn't afraid of death, but she was afraid that once she was dead, these people would imprison her soul and search through her memories. Then even 10,000 deaths wouldn't be enough to absolve her guilt. Seeing Long Chen arrive, for some unknown reason, Xiao Dai suddenly became calm. It was like that figure could give her endless comfort. Haha, <laughs> Long San, you actually came. Excellent. Do you want your woman? Fight me. If you win, you can bring this woman away, laughed the celestial. Long Chen ignored him and began walking directly to Xiao Dai, as if he didn't even see him. Brat, you really are arrogant. Seeing Long Chen ignore him, the celestial was enraged, especially when he thought of how Long Chen had humiliated him. His killing intent erupted, and he appeared in front of Long Chen in an instant, punching him with his full strength. This time he was smarter and aware of how strong Long Chen's physical body was. His spiritual yuan caused the space around him to shudder. His fist ended up smashing into Long Chen's body, but everyone was shocked to find that it had just been an afterimage. What? The celestial hastily turned to see that Long Chen had used some sort of unknown technique to appear on top of the bed. Flames covered his hand, and using it as a blade, the tough beast tendons were all severed. Xiao Dai jumped up and hugged Long Chen. Long, Xiao Dai had only just opened her mouth when Long Chen hastily gave her a kiss on the lips. If she ended up calling out Long Chen in her excitement, then it would be over for them. Xiao Dai trembled upon being kissed. Long Chen gently stroked her hair and said, Leave this to me. Xiao Dai blushed, immediately understanding her mistake. She obediently nodded as Long Chen pulled her off the bed, still not looking at the celestial. He walked off as if that guy didn't exist. Die. The celestial roared furiously, suddenly unsheathing his sword. A bitterly cold sword key slashed down on Long Chen. This attack was filled with killing intent, and it locked down Long Chen so he couldn't dodge. This attack's goal was to kill Long Chen along with Xiao Dai. Long Chen smiled icily. A flame spear appeared in his hand. Boom. The land trembled, and everyone's eardrums shook from the explosive sound. Everyone's expressions changed. Such a collision could essentially kill any Xi'anchen alchemist instantly. What? When the dust settled, it revealed Long Chen. Countless runes revolved within his flame spear, incinerating the air. However, Xiao Dai had disappeared. People hastily looked around to see that Xiao Dai was already by Che Li Huo and Fang Chang's side. She had been sent out in an instant by Long Chen just now. Che Li Huo and Fang Chen were both nervous. They regretted bringing Long San here. To do all this for a woman was not worth it. But after interacting with Long San for so long, they were aware that his character was just this straightforward. Such a person would not tolerate being deceived. If they tried to trick him, Long San would very likely turn hostile toward them. But for an alchemist to go against a celestial, their hearts rose into their throats. Xiao Dai was also nervous. She had no knowledge of Long Chen's strength. She only knew his name from Yu Ziaokian. Now, Long Chen was willing to fight a celestial for her. She couldn't help being moved. In all these years, the people in the outside world were enemies. She had never had an outsider treat her so well. Long Chen pointed his flame spear at the celestial and icily said, Idiot. Do you know why I let you off last time? It's because since I can crush you once, I can crush you twice. Seeing you're unconvinced, I'll give you a display so you understand just how terrifying an alchemist is. Boom. Suddenly, endless flames began to rage around Long Chen's body. It was as if he had changed into a flame god, and a terrifying heat came from him. This, this is the blaze eruption art. Long San was actually able to train in such a berserk pill flame magical art. Fang Chen was shocked. It wasn't just Fang Chen. Every alchemist present was shocked. That blaze eruption art was an extremely berserk magical art for alchemists. Through the suppression of soul energy, a person's pill flame would be transformed into the most berserk and chaotic attacking flame. It was completely different than the flame used when refining. 
It was a destructive flame whose only goal was to burn this world to nothing. The blaze eruption art was something that, in principle, anyone at the Pill Emperor rank and above could use it. But in reality, only Pill ancestors had reached the necessary level of control. A Pill Emperor's spiritual strength was not enough to cause the transformation of the Pill Flame. Even Fang Cheng and Che Li Huo, whose families had gone all out to groom them, would only barely be able to use this ability. But its power would be limited, and it wasn't suitable for battle. But Long Chen's spiritual strength was as vast as an ocean, and with it, he could use the Blaze Eruption Art at its optimal level, causing everyone to be shocked. In that instant, Long Chen's aura became chaotic and berserk. It was like a sheep had suddenly become a terrifying magical beast. Feeling the change in this pill flame, Long Chen snorted coldly inside. Since he couldn't use his own strength, then he would just use an alchemist's strength. Die, Long Chen roared, his voice like thunder. He had already turned into a blazing shooting star, shooting at the celestial. At the same time, his flame spear released an ear-piercing boom as it pierced forward. The celestial's expression immediately changed. He sensed endless pressure from Long Chen. A blood-colored mark lit up on his forehead, and his blood key soared. An image appeared behind him. That was an image of countless souls struggling. It was even possible to hear their mournful howls, like the sound of ghosts wailing for lives, a sound that made a person's blood turn cold. With a cold snort, the celestial sword slashed down. In that instant, the image behind him disappeared, and the souls reappeared around his sword as he slashed it toward Long Chen. Chapter 677 Nirvana Scripture vs. Cry of the Heavenly Deos Translator Born to be Boom A thunderous explosion shook heaven and earth. Long Chen's flame spear collided head-on with the celestial sword. Astral winds and raging flames erupted in every direction. The spectators were all horrified and hastily retreated. This was too appalling. They had never seen an alchemist able to go head-on against a terrifying celestial. As for Long Chen, he was still standing in the center of the flame and wind. With raging flames surrounding him, he appeared indescribably domineering. The corrupt celestial in front of him was filled with shock. In terms of strength, this alchemist in front of him actually suppressed him. Currently, their weapons were still interlocked, their auras continuing to rise. The wind around the celestial grew fiercer, and the flames around Long Chen grew taller. Boom. The land trembled as Long Chen was sent flying by a terrifying force. Everyone was startled. They saw a sea of runes had appeared around the celestial. One that caused a resonance with heaven and earth. He actually had to summon his cry of the heavenly deos. The distant spectators were shocked. The cry of the heavenly deos was the strongest trump card for celestials. In other words, by using this move, it signified he didn't have any assurance of defeating Long San without his full strength. You can die now. With a furious roar, the endless heavenly deo runes behind the celestial surged, causing the world to darken. His sword slashed toward Long Chen. Should we go? Long San probably won't be able to block this, said Che Li Huo. Now that even the cry of the heavenly deos had appeared, there was no need for this fight to continue. Long San had already displayed enough power. After all, he was an alchemist, not a martial artist. The power he had displayed was already shocking enough. If this continued, his defeaturing was undoubted. If the two of them joined hands with him, then although they wouldn't be able to defeat Chiringa Celestial, it would at least make him afraid of injuring them. Let's just watch. This monster Long San has his own methods. We just have to be prepared if he can't handle it, said Fang Chang. Boom. The celestial sword slashed down. Long Chen flashed to the side, dodging. As a result, an immense ditch was carved into the ground. It was unknown just how many miles it extended. Long Chen became filled with battle intent. He had heard that alchemists had endless fighting potential. He wanted to see just how strong an alchemist could be. Suddenly. A crackling sound filled the air. The flames around Long Chen had only been three meters tall before, but now they instantly grew to ten times that size, and even the space around him seemed to be burning. What? Fang Chang, Che Li Huo, and even the distant Huo Wufang all let out a startled cry. Long Chen was immersed in endless flames. Countless runes were revolving around him, and a terrifying pressure erupted, one that made their souls tremble. As those runes revolved, chanting filled the air. An old man in a conical hat was standing in the crowd, seeing those runes around Long Chen. A touch of shock appeared in his eyes, but then he smiled. Interesting. My trip to the eastern wasteland wasn't wasted. This is the Nirvana scripture. How can you use it? Roared Hua Wufang. The Nirvana scripture was a technique that possessed no inheritor in the pill tower. It involved extremely profound mysteries of pill flame. 
and up until now, no one in the entire Pill Tower had been able to comprehend it. The Nirvana scripture was not necessarily a secret technique in the Pill Tower. Any disciples who had reached the Pill Emperor rank was able to read it. But in all the history of the Pill Tower, there were pitifully few people who had been able to comprehend it. No one had done so in the last 3,000 years. Although it was something no one currently comprehended, it was still one of the Pill Tower's highest core techniques. The Nirvana scripture's name was something everyone knew. This technique had no diagrams, no characters, and no annotations to explain it. The only things written in the technique were some strange runes. As for the runes revolving around Long Chen, they were precisely the runes of the Nirvana scripture, so everyone recognized it. Long San comprehended the Nirvana scripture? That's monstrous. Fang Cheng and Che Li Huo felt like all the shock for their lifetimes had been used up on Long San. There was no more shock to be found. The Nirvana scripture is said to be endlessly powerful. It's unknown whether or not it can resist the cry of the heavenly deos, said Che Li Huo. Boom. As the spectators spoke, the fighters clashed. Long Chen's Nirvana scripture and the corrupt celestial's cry of the heavenly deos collided. The manifestation of the heavenly deos raged and clashed with the flame runes. These two runic seas crashed on each other continuously. Everyone's expressions changed. This level of power had already surpassed their imaginations. Boom. With a final intense collision, the two runic seas parted. Long Chen and the Celestial fell back hundreds of meters. Neither of them had taken an advantage in this exchange. The Nirvana scripture is so powerful. It's actually able to resist the cry of the heavenly deos. Long San is truly heaven-defying. The spectators were shaken. This was their first time seeing someone capable of resisting a celestial's cry of the heavenly deos. This Long San is just like that legendary Long Chen. He's clearly not a celestial, but he's still able to suppress celestials, said someone. Huo Wufang really is unlucky. I heard that last time when he tried to target Long Chen. Long Chen took half of his life. If the Huo family hadn't brought out their wealth, he would already be dead. Now he's fighting for the Pill Emperor competition's first place and this Long San appears. Could it be that the Huo family is fated to be restrained by people surnamed Long? Sighed someone. Huo Wufang finally couldn't hold back and shouted, Long San, you aren't the Pill Tower's disciple, but you actually dared to secretly learn the Pill Tower's divine technique. Fang Cheng interrupted, you're wrong. The first day Long San met me, he promised to join the Pill Tower. The formalities are being personally taken care of by Junior Master Che. How can you say he's not a disciple of the Pill Tower? Correct. I'm in charge of handling this. If there are any problems, you can come to find me, said Che Li Huo. You too. Huo Wufang was about to explode. These two fellows were constantly using their authority to give Long San benefits, but he was helpless to do anything about it. Long Chen ignored the words from the outside. He had already become a member of the Fang and Che families. No matter what happened, the two families would protect him. He didn't need to conceal anything. However, it was truly curious. When he had seen the Nirvana scripture, Long Chen had jumped in shock. The runes in the scripture gave him a very familiar feeling. Just with a glance, the profundities contained in those runes poured into his mind, and he had instantly comprehended it. Long Chen had only taken a few breaths time to learn the Nirvana scripture. He even felt like he had already learned the technique before, but had forgotten it. Now that he displayed the technique, that feeling of familiarity increased. Long Chen suspected that the Nirvana scripture was related to the Pill God memories, but now wasn't the time to think about that. The fact that the Nirvana scripture could resist the suppression of the cry of the heavenly deos made Long Chen incomparably delighted. Previously, he had always been worried that without the divine ring, he wouldn't be able to fight a celestial, but now he no longer had that worry. With a cold cry, he raised his flame spear, and like a phoenix coming out of the flames, he shot toward the Celestial. The Celestial was shocked. He had never dreamed that the cry of the Heavenly Deos, which had never failed him, would actually be suppressed. Seeing Long Chen charging at him with a chilling killing intent, a trace of fear entered his heart. He hastily slashed his sword at Long Chen. Their endless runes collided once more. Each one of their exchanges shook the land. This chaotic power caused everyone to tremble. I've pretty much gotten used to it. The two of them fought for an hour before Long Chen felt that it was enough. Gripping the flame spear with both hands, he suddenly attacked with his full strength. Long Chen might be unrevealed when it came to alchemy, but he was still a novice at fighting with his pill flame. He might be confident in his control over his pill flame, but magical arts were extremely profound. 
Even with the assistance of the pill god memories, Long Chen had still needed some time to get used to it. That was especially true when it came to using flame weapons. They didn't have any weight on their own, but through his spiritual strength, he could adjust the runic energy within the weapon. He could make his weapon as light as a feather or as heavy as a mountain. This entire time, Long Chen had just been practicing and figuring out how to use this kind of weapon to his advantage. Although the fight had seemed intense, he hadn't used any true killing blows. Now he was done with that. Boom. With an explosive sound, a huge crater was blown into the ground, and endless waves shot out. The Celestial had no idea that Long Chen had still been holding back so much. Caught off guard, both his arms broke and he vomited blood. In terms of physical strength, he couldn't compare to Long Chen. Heavenly Dale recover the Celestial hastily tried to heal. I don't have time for you to recover. Just die. Taking advantage of his injury, Long Chen's flame spear once more shot forward. It smashed into the Celestial's body, filling the air with blood. Buzz. The Heavenly Dale runes had only just begun to scatter when Long Chen's flame spear became a sphere that exploded in the air, disintegrating those runes. The entire crowd was deathly silent. Chapter 678 Perfect Timing Translator Born to be his long hair fluttered in the air, and the flames around him continuously burned. Long Chen seemed just like a flame god. The instant Long Chen destroyed those Heavenly Dale runes, it felt like time slowed down. Personally seeing a Celestial be killed by Long San completely stupefied everyone. A Celestial had disappeared in front of them just like that. A new flame spear appeared in Long Chen's hand, and he pointed it at Huo Wu Fang. Contemptible brat. Do you dare fight? Do you dare fight? Do you dare fight? Long Chen's shout echoed throughout the silent mountain valley. That voice caused everyone to tremble. They had been completely suppressed by Long Chen's unrevealed imposingness. The leftover aura from killing the Celestial was still present on Long Chen. His powerful will caused heaven and earth to shiver. It made it so no one could form an urge to fight against him. Holding his spear, with his aura surging out of him, Long Chen made everyone speechless. Huo Wufang's expression darkened while the other corrupt Celestial by his side was trembling inside. He was actually too afraid to fight Long Chen. The elder hidden in the crowd smiled and then silently disappeared. Xiao Dai was filled with delight. Long Chen gave people an extremely trustworthy feeling, as if anything could be given to him to handle. We're going. Huo Wufang was furious, but he still decided to bring his people away. From start to finish, all he had done was embarrass himself. Now that this celestial had been killed, Huo Wufang had already lost all his face. Huo Wufang. Long Chen suddenly appeared in front of him. I know that this was all your dirty little plan. To dare touch my woman. You really are looking to die. I. Long San, don't have anything except my own life. If you want to play, then I'll accompany you. But let me warn you, if you once more touch my woman, I will make you regret ever being born in this world. Long San, are you threatening me? Raged Huo Wufang. You're wrong. I never threatened anyone. I am someone who gets things done. Someone who does whatever he wants to do. If you are a real man, then don't hide behind your schemes. I hear you once dared to face Long Chen. Could it be that after being beaten half dead by Long Chen, your guts have shrunk and you don't dare face people head on anymore? Sneered Long Chen. Boom. Huo Wufang's aura suddenly erupted, the ground beneath his feet trembling. A terrifying pressure rose as if an ancient beast was awakening within Huo Wufang's body. Long Chen's heart shook. In that instant, he felt an extremely dangerous sensation. Something was definitely off with Huo Wufang. Long Chen hastily retreated a few steps and readied himself. Wu Fang, you child, how can you get angry so easily? If you get angry even from an ant's provocation, how will you ever accomplish anything in the future? Suddenly, a cold shout rang out and Huo Changsheng appeared. Child knows his mistake, Huo Wu Fang hastily said. Let's go, your world won't be limited to this place. The opponents here are just stepping stones for you. Your target is a much vaster sky. Huo Changsheng didn't even look at Long Chen. He brought their people away just like that. Everyone was startled. Huo Changsheng had actually long since arrived but had just been watching in secret. Long Chen was also startled. Huo Wufang was someone Long Chen had been able to play with like a child back in the Jiuli secret realm. But just now, he had felt a chill. That was a feeling the nine-star hegemon body art would only give him when there was a danger to his life. Just what happened to Huo Wufang for him to give me such a dangerous feeling? Wondered Long Chen. It seemed he had been a bit careless. Huo Wufang had completely changed. But it seemed he didn't want to release his true strength. 
Long San, you are amazing. Even a celestial can be killed by you. At this time, Fang Chen and Che Li Huo also came over. They almost prostrated themselves toward Long Chen in admiration. In fact, it was almost a kind of worship. His alchemy skills were incredible, and his combat abilities were also terrifying. He was a monster. There was no way he was human. Sorry, in the secret tome pavilion, I apologized Long Chen. No need to apologize. You're a member of our pill tower. You can learn whatever you want. If others want to fart about it, just let them. Furthermore, any disciple who joins the pill tower can enter the secret tome pavilion once a month. And you've only entered once. We didn't break any rules. And about that, Long San, are you sure you're human? To have learned this much from entering the secret tome pavilion once, are you sure you aren't a monster? Asked Che Li Huo. All right, don't spout nonsense. This isn't the place to talk. Let's go back. Lady Shall Die. I've already sent someone to buy you from the House of Pleasures. You'll be your own person in the future, said Fang Chang. Brother Fang really. Thank you, said Long Chen. In truth, Long Chen knew that this was just his way of pulling him onto his side even more. No need to thank me. Brother Che and I might be junior masters of our families, but we actually get very little income. It can't even make up for a month of Hua Wufang's expenses. This bill is something my family's old man paid for, said Fang Cheng. Fang Cheng and Che Li Huo were both treated extremely strictly by their families. They had to make their own money through refining pills. Alchemy was one of the greatest money-making tools in the world, but the two of them had it different. Their family's goal was to temper them. They only allowed them to make money off refining extremely difficult pills with high odds of failure. Sometimes they might spend a month refining without earning a single copper coin. In fact, they would even owe money for the ingredients. It was only in the past few years that their alchemy had improved enough that they managed to repay their debt and get some savings. Long Chen approved of this method. At the very least, the two of them didn't have the same vile habits as Hua Wufang. The feeling they gave others was completely different. I'll have to thank him. Long Chen smiled. This matter was now over. Long Chen pulled Xiao Dai back with him to the Fang family. The Fang family head was truly worthy of being a leader. He directly made a large courtyard available for Long Chen and Xiao Dai. They had a large house with their own servants. Long Chen's relationship with the Fang and Che families had grown even more intimate now. Now they no longer called him the same thing. Instead, they called him Junior Master Long, a name on the same level as Fang Chen and Che Li Huo. First Master Che, Second Master Fang, and Third Master Long. Now their three names rang throughout Pilyang Prefecture. A large disturbance erupted on the day Long Chen killed the Celestial. However, while the corrupt path might feel fine abusing the righteous path, they didn't dare to do anything to the Pill Tower. Later that evening, the Fang family held a grand feast as a celebration. Fang Mingyuan was growing more and more pleased with Long San. But after that feast, Fang Mingyuan told Long Chen he should focus on alchemy. Although he didn't say it directly, his meaning was very obvious. He didn't want Long Chen wasting his energy on Xiao Dai. If a problem occurred during the finals because of that, it really would be a joke. Long Chen didn't know whether to laugh or cry, but he immediately patted his chest and guaranteed he wouldn't do such a thing before the finals. That satisfied Fang Mingyuan. To be so sensible at such a young age and to possess such shocking abilities but still be low-key was truly rare. When the social niceties were finally over, Long Chen returned to his residence. Xiao Dai was already there, but her expression was a bit unnatural from nervousness. Long Chen smiled slightly. Perhaps Xiao Dai had misunderstood. Xiao Dai, I've refined the pills already. They're in this ring. Do you need to use a transportation formation to leave or do you have another method? Hearing that Long Chen had prepared the pills this quickly delighted Xiao Dai. I don't need a transportation formation. We have our own secret technique. As long as I activate it, I'll immediately be sent away. Long Chen handed the spatial ring to her. Then you should leave quickly. Remember to tell Xiaokian that I, um, just tell her that I miss her. Thank you, Brother Long. I'll definitely pass on your words. Xiao Dai quickly took out a dozen strange bones. Those bones had mysterious carvings on them that possessed powerful spatial strength. Will this be sensed by others? Asked Long Chen. No. Our original devil race's secret technique causes almost no spatial fluctuations. The people outside this room won't be able to sense a thing. Buzz. The bones began to glow. Xiao Dai was enveloped by a gentle light, and then her body slowly faded. Brother Long, thank you for everything. Goodbye. Xiao Dai waved all the way until she completely disappeared. 
The bones disintegrated, turning into a fine powder. Xiao Dai's gone now. I'll have to think of an excuse. Long Chen rubbed his chin, thinking. Suddenly, he felt almost ten powerful auras creeping into his courtyard. Damn, what perfect timing. Long Chen smiled with delight. Chapter 679 Putting all the cards on the table translator. Born to be Long San. Get out here and die. Suddenly, a clear shout rang out. A figure charged through the gate to Long Chen's courtyard. The door was directly blown apart by his palm. Long Chen rushed out to see a black-robed man wearing a mask. He obviously didn't want others to know who he was. Who are you? Long Chen accompanied this person's act. Normally, Long Chen wouldn't be so stupid as to ask such a question when someone barged through the door like this. But to give this person an opportunity, he had to accompany him. That person sneered. The person who will kill you. He suddenly flashed into motion, punching at Long Chen. He was incomparably quick, and this fist caused space to shake intensely. He was actually a powerful celestial. Kill me? You're still lacking, you bastard. Long Chen's expression suddenly changed, as when he went out to face this person, another seven figures rushed into his room. Long Chen ignored the person in front of him, hastily charging back and shouting, Careful, care about yourself. That person sneered and runes erupted from his body, instantly locking down Long Chen. He didn't want to kill Long Chen. He just needed to stall him. Idiot. Long Chen cursed inside. But he had to act extremely panicked. He continued to try and charge into his room. Boom. Dust filled the sky. The entire courtyard was blown up. Gone. Bastards. What did you do? Roared Long Chen. But the experts that had charged in were also dumbfounded. They hadn't done anything. But the room had just exploded. She's not here. Those people were all startled. They had clearly sensed two life auras a while ago. They didn't know that the second life aura was simply a pill that Long Chen had brought out to trick them. Leave. Following one person's order, the other seven also rushed away. Long Chen raged. Do you think you can just come and go as you please? Boom. Long Chen had only just moved to stop them when four of them turned back, attacking him. Long Chen hastily blocked, and he was sent flying as a result. HMPH. As expected, you can't rely on rumors. Long San only has this little ability, sneered one person before disappearing into the night. These people had come suddenly, and they left suddenly. In just a breath's time, they disappeared. Long San, what happened? At this time, the Fang family's experts finally arrived. Fang Chen saw Long Chen lying on the ground and hastily helped him up. I'm fine, but Xiao Dai was taken, said Long Chen hatefully. What? Intolerable. Fang Chang's rage soared. To actually barge into his family's territory to snatch Long San's woman. That was definitely a slap to the Fang family's face. Let's chase. Said a sea expansion expert. Only at this time did Long Chen see that the Fang family actually possessed over 10 sea expansion experts. He hadn't seen any of them before. Then thinking about it. He realized these had to be the Fang family's guests. To put it in an uglier way. They were simply the Fang family's bodyguards. The Fang family were alchemists, and they needed some martial artists as fighters. There's no need. The eight of them were all Xi'anshan Celestials. They've long since gotten away. Long Chen shook his head. What? Eight Celestials. Fang Mingyuan's expression was grave. It should have been done by the Huo family. Tomorrow is the day Huo Wufang is taking a concubine. The Huo family has created close relationships with countless righteous and corrupt sects. Those sects sent their strongest disciples to congratulate him. One reason is to bribe the Huo family, and one is to show their own strength. According to some reliable information I obtained, there are over 30 celestials that came. Other than the Huo family, no one else has the power to cause this many celestials to appear. Furthermore, they have nothing to fear. Long Sans already said they were masked. Without evidence, we can't do anything to them. Then, are we just supposed to allow them to dishonor Long San's woman? Fang Chang's expression changed. As a man, even if you had to die, you still couldn't allow such a thing to happen. Huo Wufang was truly intolerable. Long San, what do you say? Fang Mingyuan looked at Long Chen. Long Chen's expression was dark, but he was extremely calm. Family head, I have something I want to discuss with you in private. All right, within a private room of the Fang family. Long Chen suddenly smiled toward the family head. Since matters have reached this point, I no longer need to conceal anything from you. My original goal in muddling my way into the Fang family was to borrow the Fang family's strength to handle the Huo family. I trust that Senior has already sensed that. But since you didn't say anything, 
You must have your own plan. But now things are becoming clearer and clearer. The Fang and Huo family are like water and fire. If the Huo family wins, then your two families will either have to leave or be exterminated. I need your strength to handle the Huo family, and you need my strength as well. It can be said that we both need each other. Continue. Fang Mingyuan sank into thought for a moment. His face didn't reveal any expression. Long Chen nodded inside. As expected, Fang Mingyuan had long since sensed something. If he had always thought this scheme of his had been completely flawless, then he really would be an idiot. I truly do think of Che Li Huo and Fang Chen as brothers. Although this friendship was a bit insincere in the beginning, after going through some trials, that insincerity has disappeared. So right now, I want to discuss things openly with you. Huo Wufang's conduct today has completely infuriated me. I want to know, if I go all out against the Huo family, how much help can you and the Che family head give me? Asked Long Chen. Fang Mingyuan's hand tapped on the table rhythmically. For a long time, he didn't say a word. Long Chen also didn't say anything. He was waiting for a response. Finally, Fang Mingyuan said, Cooperating is fine, but I need proof. Proof that you won't betray my Fang family. The proof is very simple. Long Chen brushed his hand over his face, revealing his original appearance. How is this for proof? Fang Mingyuan's pupil shrank, looking at Long Chen. It was a long time before he finally exclaimed, Long Chen, he, ha 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 ha, good, very good, when it comes to craziness, no one can compare to you, I never imagined that you were still alive, of course, I'm still alive, if I died, wouldn't the Huo family be free to do whatever they wanted laughed Long Chen, he pointed to his face, how is it, is this proof enough, Fang Mingyuan nodded, it is enough, your reputation precedes you. I already took note of you when the news of what happened in the Jiuli secret realm spread. I even investigated you, learning that you always stay loyal to your friends and family. There were even several times where you risked your life to save your companions. Such a person is someone I can trust, Long Chen said. Fang Chen and Che Li Huo aren't bad. They're good brothers. I was originally planning on inciting conflict between your two families and then jumping in at the last moment to give the Huo family a vicious blow. But since they're my brothers, I have no choice but to change that plan. I'll help you eliminate the Huo family. Today, Huo Wufang sent out eight celestials to capture Xiao Dai. There are two reasons I didn't chase. One is because I couldn't catch up, while the other is that even if I chased them to the Huo family, the Huo family would come up with all kinds of excuses to bar me at the gate. If I'm alone, there's no way for me to handle the Huo family, so I need to lay all my cards on the table for you to see. Although Xiao Dai was just a woman from a brothel, she was still my woman. I can't just accept this humiliation. So I've decided to give Huo Wufang a vicious blow. I need your help for that. What's your plan? Asked Fang Mingyuan. What's my plan? Don't you know my temperament? He snatched my woman today. So tomorrow, I'm going to snatch his woman. Long Chen rubbed his fists. You want to snatch his concubine? Fang Mingyuan gasped. Long Chen was crazy. Yes. He snatched my woman, so I'll also snatch his woman, then we'll be even, and this matter can end here, said Long Chen shamelessly. Fang Mingyuan was speechless, how could snatching women be calculated like this? Furthermore, his woman had just been a prostitute, while Huo Wufang was undergoing an official wedding ceremony with a concubine. How was that the same at all? The Huo family had already sent out the invitations, and countless righteous and corrupt experts had come to attend the ceremony. If Long Chen really managed to snatch her, wouldn't the Huo family's people have no choice but to kill themselves in shame? Just what level had Long Chen's craziness reached? The Huo family is very powerful. In truth, Fang Mingyuan tried to persuade Long Chen to give up this thought, but Long Chen shook his head. Family head Fang, this is something I must do. That Hua Biluo is someone who helped me at a critical moment. If I can't save her, then I wouldn't be a man. If you refuse to help, I can only think of some other way tomorrow. I won't just watch as she is humiliated. It seems my only choice is to capture Hua Wufang as fast as possible and use his life to exchange for Hua Biluo's safety. But even if I succeed in that, it would expose my identity, and I would no longer be able to participate in the Pill Emperor competition. I also won't be able to kill Hua Wufang, so he will easily take first place. As for what will happen later, I'm sure there's no need for me to explain. Fang Mingyuan sighed. Long Chen, you are forcing me, isn't that because I have no other choice? Helping me is also helping your Fang family. Furthermore, 
I can promise you that if I attend the finals, Huo Wufang will definitely be suppressed. Long Chen tossed out another enticement. Do you really have that confidence? Fang Mingyuan's eyes brightened. I, Long Chen, never speak any empty words. These words were a bit arrogant, but they were even more moving than a thousand promises to Fang Mingyuan. He hesitated for a moment before clenching his teeth, saying, All right, since you have such confidence, I'll bet everything on you. Haha, <laughs> don't worry, I guarantee you will make back your investment. Let's discuss what will happen tomorrow. Long Chen began to explain his plan. Chapter 680 Snatching Money or Snatching Women? Translator. Born to be what? You didn't manage to catch that woman. Hua Wufang's expression was ugly. He hadn't expected that eight Xi'anshan Celestials would still return having accomplished nothing. When we moved in, we clearly felt two auras in the room. But then somehow, the only one inside was Long San. In order to not expose our identity, we could only immediately leave. Brother Huo, I really am sorry, said one slender man wearing a scholar's headband. Huo Wufang was currently in a large room with over 30 experts. These people were all terrifying celestials. Furthermore, they were very young, and they contained members from both the righteous and corrupt paths. The person who had spoken just now was from a righteous sect HMPH. Your righteous path really is undependable. You wasted brother HUO's trust. How useless, sneered a corrupt celestial. You, if you have any ability, then go yourself. Let it go. This matter ends here. Seeing the two sides were about to fight, Huo Wufang hastily stopped them. These people were all his guests. These people came from powers that were the Huo family's customers. The two sides had cooperated for many years now. They had helped the Huo family obtain endless resources. Since he was the future leader of the Huo family, he naturally had to nurture good relationships with them. Tomorrow is the wedding ceremony. Now isn't a good time to do anything. We'll wait until after. This Long San has been repeatedly offending me, thinking that he can do so with the Fang and Che family's support. HMPH. Once I capture his woman, I'll definitely find her a few hundred men to satisfy. Then I'll record it all and show him right before the finals. I want to see if he can still calmly refine pills at that time, sneered Huo Wufang. Brother Huo, just leave this matter to us and we'll handle it, said a corrupt celestial. He had two swords on his back, and his eyes were extremely strange. One was completely black, while one was completely white. Then I'll thank you for your trouble. Come, as my honored guests, let's have a celebration. The fact that you could come here today means that you truly treat me as a brother. In the future, as long as I am alive, there will be no problem with your supply of medicinal pills. Huo Wufang did his best to entice them. He also knew that if the Huo family truly wanted to get a firm foothold, they had to pull in more experts. These people were the elites of the powers they belonged to. In the future, they would be the leaders of those powers. So Huo Wufang had to win them over. But he didn't know that while he plotted on how to snatch Long Chen's woman, Long Chen was also thinking the same about his. By the time the morning sun released its first light over the horizon, Pilyang City was already filled with people. Countless people were holding fresh flowers on the sides of a 10-mile-wide road, calmly waiting. Suddenly, they saw some activity as a large carriage slowly appeared. These people all had close relationships with the Huo family, and they had come from all corners of the eastern wasteland. Some people hadn't even received an invitation card from the Huo family and had merely come to suck up. But after coming here, they realized that they didn't even have the qualifications to do that. There were too many people, and some of them came from even stronger sects than them. The only thing they could do was wave their flags and cheer. Within the carriage was a beautiful woman. She wore a phoenix crown and a red shawl, but her eyes were icy cold, seeming to contain endless hate and killing intent. She was Hua Biluo. When she had been sent back to Biluo Mountain, that had counted as the end of her experience. She had received the family's care and resources. Her display had been exceptionally good, and she had formed a relationship with Long Chen, who had been the reason why the Mo family had exterminated the Yun family. In this world, there was nothing happier than having one's mortal enemy be destroyed. As a result, she had even been given the chance to obtain a heavenly Dao inheritance. Unfortunately, that chance hadn't worked out. Out of the ten spots, only one person had managed to become a celestial, and that person hadn't been her. If it hadn't been her, then that was fine. But the person who had become a celestial was envious of her beauty, and she repeatedly suppressed her. The thing that was most difficult to accept was that this person was her older half-sister. In this world, 
there was a saying that fortune never came in pairs, that perfectly described Hua Biluo's plight. After her older sister had become a celestial, she gradually gained authority in the family. She even had the right to join the discussion on major affairs occurring within the family. As a result, when the news that Long Chen had fallen in the chaos region came, Hua Biluo had yet to recover from her shock when the Huo family came to propose a marriage. Her big sister had helped her out, and no matter how Hua Biluo had tried, she hadn't been able to change her fate of being married into the Huo family. Even when she had gone to beg her father, his response was, everything was for the big picture. One person had to sacrifice themselves for the greater good. That made Hua Biluo's heart turn completely cold. She now truly experienced the heartlessness of an ancient family. If she wanted the right to speak, she had to have enough power. Otherwise, no one would listen to her. Back when she had helped Long Chen, the higher-ups had even praised her for being far-sighted and having good judgment. When the Mo family had exterminated the Yun family, the family head had personally come to give her praise. But now that Long Chen had fallen, Hua Biluo's position had taken a devastating hit. She was actually treated as a chiss piece to appease the Huo family, who in the entire Hua family was unaware of Hua Wufang's hatred toward her. But in the entire Hua family, not one person had said a word for her, not even her father. Now, Hua Biluo was like a walking corpse, as if she didn't have the slightest strength. That was because her good sister, for her own safety, had sealed her spiritual Yuan, making it so she couldn't even kill herself. She felt hatred. She felt hatred toward her emotionless family. She felt so much hatred that she wanted to kill all of them. Even if these people had thick blood ties with her, she no longer cared. As the carriage moved, she heard the ruckus outside, and she could even see her grand and majestic sister sitting on a golden horse at the front of the carriage. That sister of hers was bringing her step by step toward despair. Suddenly, the side window of the carriage was opened. A woman stretched her head in. This woman's face was not bad, but her forehead was a bit big and her chin was a bit sharp. The feeling she gave others was not a good one. Dear sister, do you see? There are so many experts watching. Your wedding is so incredibly grand. You better thank me for this. This person was Hua Biluo's sister, Hua Jinrong. Hua Biluo seemed to not hear her. She didn't even bat an eye. Right now, she had lost the qualifications to fight against her. She had never imagined that her sister loathed her so much. Sister, you really are beautiful today. I hope Hua Wufang is a protective man who makes sure you won't have an early death. Ha ha ha. Hua Jinrong laughed, but that laugh was full of envy and rancor. After I die, will you really be happy? Hua Biluo finally opened her mouth. Of course. That way I won't have to see your face. Then the only beauty in Biluo Mountain will be me. Hua Jinrong. She laughed. A martial artist's lifespan is long. Are you sure your beauty will last so long? You won't age one day? Even if you can maintain it, millions of experts rise on Biluo Mountain, and babies are born each day. There will be quite a few beauties reaching their prime every year. Are you going to kill them all? Hua Biluo icily asked. Correct. As long as they're more beautiful than me, I'll get rid of them. In the future, the Hua family will be mine, and under my rule, I will be a supreme god. No one can disobey me, said Hua Jinrong. The family's higher-ups really were blind. If they knew this thinking of yours, perhaps they would have decided differently, sighed Hua Biluo. She had never expected that her sister's heart was so dark. You should worry about yourself. With Hua Wufang's vicious and domineering character, he'll definitely torment you to the point that you'll be between a human and a ghost. Ha ha ha, all that grievance of mine from all these years can finally be released, laughed Hua Jinrong. Hua Biluo lowered her head, no longer speaking. Hua Jinrong was truly crazy, but there was one thing she was right about. She really should worry about herself. Suddenly, a burst of activity came from the front, and the carriage stopped. Hua Jinrong roared, who dares block our path? On this vast road, a man stood in front of the carriage. Heavens, isn't that Long San? What is he doing? Today's a big day for Hua Wufang. Is Long San trying to disrupt things? Eh? It's not just Long San. Junior Master Che and Junior Master Fang have also come. What are they up to today? Long Chen had been waiting here for a long time. Now that the carriage had finally arrived, he directly appeared in front of it. Following him, Fang Cheng and Che Li Huo also appeared. Fang Chang, this road was opened by me. Che Li Huo, these trees were planted by me. Long Chen. If you want to use this road, you have to pay my fee. The three of them shouted together. Break this rule at your own peril. This caused everyone to be dumbfounded. 
the three junior masters had changed professions to bandits? Fang Chang. Men, raise your hands. I came here to snatch money, not to snatch women. Che Li Huo. Women, raise your legs. I came here to snatch women, not to snatch money. Long Chen. What are you two doing? If you snatch the women and the money, what am I supposed to do?